We're pushing. All right, button is up. Pull the lever. I immediately know we did that joke yesterday, Lot. Damn it. I wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Luckily, that bought me some time that I needed to clear my throat from the power of sour skittles. Shit. The acid powder eats my mouth. Like a slap in the face. Yes. It's good, though. It's a good eat my mouth. I eat a lot of tar pits. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong chat. Um, you guys got some number of EXP. Did you do anything with it? Uh, I did, but let me just double I did, but I'll wait. It I got interrupted, uh, by, uh, let's see what I did get. I got the second rank of Embracer 8. Mm -hmm. I bought nothing. I bought Charm 4. Ooh, how charming. Inspired by what happened last time. I got something that I'll probably almost never use, but I have it anyway. I got targeted blow. Oh, yeah? I basically spent destiny. Add five, add five to one hit. Ah, uh, for Julie, yeah. Julie. Yeah. Maximize so. that damage. Oh. There's a lot of talents like that. Okay. Sorry, I said a little soft. Let's reposition that microphone just to scotch. Scotch closer to my beautiful pipes. All right. Loth, did you do anything? You were muted. Speak to me, Loth. Sorry, I was popping stuff in the microwave. I didn't want that to be picked up. Well, too late. <laughs> beep boop. We heard the beep boop. Yeah. That's okay. Know. Like, look, Lucky, this Lucky ruined it first by uh, having Far Cry 6 audio that in the audio version of this will almost assuredly be cut the fuck out because... It's way soft, but like you, this microphone can pick up crows outside my own house. Like I, I don't know what this thing can pick up. This is why I have a polar microphone. Just back about a way. You're picking up Far Cry Six, then. I should. That means I need to turn this down a little bit, then. Possibly. By the way, I did a whole I'm gag thinking. where yeah. I spoke, and uh, you guys obviously couldn't hear me because Discord didn't catch it up. But I moved back like a foot, and mm -hmm. was oh, no. inaudible. We can we, we can tell you moved back. Yes, <gasps> I just okay. ran over a horse. Ah, oh dear! Hmm. No, that wasn't a deer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, of course. <laughs> Good. Okay. Alrighty. But uh, in that case, uh, Loth, did you do anything with your XP? I don't remember. He said nothing. Okay, I think he, he went away then. Okay. Again. Hmm? Uh, if it doesn't matter, then we'll just move on. What's happened? We're moving on. We've moved on. We moved on. Yeah. Okay. This episode is brought to you by our patrons like Adam Dutton Harp, Akira Comics, like Kazuma, Akira Ten, Lucas G, Carlos Dragon, Ferris, Jeremy Vasquez, Jonathan Sandoval, Legendary Boss Hunter, Liam Kessler, Regent Raptor, Rogue Robin, Sharvor, Shiny P, some guy named Bob, Sergeant 23, and Varen the Crow. Thank you for your support. All right, let us immediately begin by getting in a fight. Fight? Yeah. You guys want to fight? Okay, so uh, these guys, sans Wevu, went up to the roof to go do a thing. While they are doing that, Wevu scoochled off to uh, the tunnels underneath, well, yeah. kind of sort of underneath the city, in the lower level. More Iridu is yeah. a stilt city. And uh, chase down the guys who are actually attempting to break into the. What is he? First okay. National Soul Hill Bank? Or something like that? Something like yes, that. Yes, the first Soho Live Bank. Oh, first Saint Soho Live Bank. I thought you were about to say the first sanctioned Soho Live Bank. Like the other ones were unsanctioned. <laughs> no, it's the planetary the so it's the first bank. They built it right there. Alrighty, so uh you are armed with whatever you're armed with personally. Yeah. And also approximately uh well like I think officers. like twelve ish clone officers with sidearms. Yeah. Yes. And dress uniforms who followed you down because Arma was yeah. like, Listen guys, we don't got enough suits. 
<laughs> so you've got a, a handful of officers with you, and you're going to scooch on down into the tunnels. Yeah. So uh, what's your your plan of attack here, oh, Captain, my Captain? Let's see here. Uh, okay, plan of attack first, current form... Some sort of groups. Um, wait, are clone officers mean? Oh uh, no, they or... would be mechanically. They would be uh, rivals, or possibly even some of them would be nemesis to your guys. Okay, we'll I'm just distract that a little. Okay, I was just double checking. Okay, so I guess plan attack. Um, wait, do these officers know the layout of the sewers? Of the underground uh, I mean, there's probably been been vaguely briefed, but no, I don't think any of you excessively know the exact layout. You know roughly where you're going because the the reinforced uh, s- cells and and tunnels beneath the uh, historic courthouse are part of the bank now. So okay, you should be able to just go below into the access and follow the signs. Okay, so I think follow the signs, try to, uh, I guess, <sighs> I have the words in my head just not coming to my mouth. Um, I guess the best idea is to follow the signs, fall to where the, where the guys are, and uh, let's see here. Make sure to try and... Um, Make sure they can't escape. All right. For, uh, uh, you know, an, an encirclement situation. All right. Go yeah. ahead and roll me uh, probably average leadership. These are still clones, so you get a free upgrade. You are a general. Three leadership, so that become three yellow. Average. Do I have any boost die? No, it's I don't. reminded me that we uh, discovered an interesting thing about downgrading the other day. That uh, apparently downgrading has a cap. You can't downgrade the difficulty dice. <laughs> you hit the amount of... There's no more upgrades. You you can't remove dice, which is weird, because when you upgrade, yeah. you add dice. All righty. Uh, I know exactly what to do with that. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you give them the simple plan. You do some hand signs. You know, you do the... You do with two claws, the little walking man thing, and they all just kind of nod and go down. So you get about halfway down to the vaults, uh, and you you know you go back to double check on your squad, and you realize there's a person in an in a yellow orange safety jumpsuit with microphone extended, <laughs> uh, holding a data pad, recording all this. Oh no! Like, um... uh, in the back. <laughs> so I'm looking back, just like, oh right. <laughs> Scary lady said to follow you. Oh, right. I was oh, supposed to keep an eye on you. Oh, right. I was supposed to keep an eye on you. Thank goodness. He, 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 yeah, Prilla hasn't, hasn't seen uh, Webu beat anybody up today. Oh. She's going to see the world would have daffed a bit. Well, that's not entirely true. Uh, I think she saw Webu, like, tail whip a guy a little bit, but she did not see, like, our, uh, like an Arama tier punch out five dudes or, or spin kick all of them or whatever you did. So. Again, like, no, Webber's not the, the walking lady right now. Our mother walking. Damn it, why won't it load? I don't know. Stuff being weird today. But okay, so. Yes, uh, Prilla is following you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. I accept that, so let's okay. keep moving. <laughs> All right, so you guys. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Uh, you, you know, you pass into some old tunnels. You know, they're kind of reinforced but well anchored. Uh, you know, you've got grates for water drainage down below you into the actual delta. Uh, but you're following the signs towards the bank. You probably, not like hop the turnstiles, but like pass through some some grills and bars that are that are made open to you. Or are already pre-opened with cutting torches in a couple of places it looks like. And get to a uh, vault area. Are you being stealthy or not? Uh, yes. Okay. Roll me a average stealth check. 
Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then two of that. Not current committee dice. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, three successes. That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> so uh, you don't make a lot of noise, and you've done enough extra success that the people following your plan don't make an excess of noise either. Uh, as you're you're kind of you know quietly moving along, you know you pass by some doors, uh, you see some you know security rooms or, or uh, yeah secured storage areas, you know with like grills and grates in front of them sealed off still. Uh, some of them you see and have been forced open already and and searched. And you get to a higher security area, you hear some some uh, over here some 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 kind of you know low hushed tones like, all right, quickly load it, load it. Put in the bag. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bags, bags. Uh, you, hear, you hear, you know, kind of a more authoritarian voice kind of go like, Gruben, Gruben, are you there? We've got the stuff. We're getting ready. Is the expo ready? Gruben. <laughs> ah, shit. I can't hear anything. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay. Load up. So they're in a room ahead of you. Okay. Well, says so they're current brewery trying to. They're bur uh, right there. Right there, brewery or gonna be like alert and trying to just book it now says they can't get a hold of the other person. So uh, time to do the little surprise and attack to storm. Right, so you're gonna. Are you gonna storm in, or are you gonna wait for them to come out and then like club them as they walk past? Uh, let's see here. Uh. Yeah. Let's do the trying well wait, do I? I don't re really... well I guess the clone officers might be able to close them. I can't quite uh uh let's just try and uh s storm in. All right. Okay, go ahead and roll me initiative. You should probably roll cool. Yeah. Sweet Do one thing that's quick strike. Not quick strike, the other thing. Grab a reaction? Yeah, that. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so that would be. Did you copy this? Uh, minions with vigilance. Also, I'm rolling hot tonight. Holy shit. Wow. It's happened, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> As opposed to last time, where <laughs> nobody could roll anything. Right. True. Whoever in this game decided to give me a military spec helicopter complete with rockets and guns, they have made a mistake. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I think everything's going ahead of weapon. <laughs> yep. Yep. I mean, okay, this... so the, these yeah. these guys were clearly more paranoid than you were. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you, you know, you jump around the corner and then, uh, you know, another half a dozen dudes, two minion groups of six uh, and one very tall dude. They're all wearing the riot gear. You saw the other guys early in, but one of these humanoids is like a head taller than everybody else. He's got to be nearly as tall as you are, well over two meters. Uh, and he is holding uh, what looks like a heavy blaster carbine in addition to a duffel bag full of something slung over a shoulder. Um, did you, uh, you charged in, did you rock out with your saber out, or? Yes. Okay. Sounds about right. It's like, Jedi? Quick, get them, before they can stop us! Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Get to the gunship! Yeah. <laughs> That's what this guy should sound like! <laughs> ah, ah. Hans! <laughs> <laughs> random, your random. So, uh, the uh, lieutenant here, the ELF lieutenant, will go first. Uh, let's see, best you, buddy. Uh, well, you don't have a wide r a range of talents and tactics, so we're gonna go for. Uh, he will take cover by sliding down. Uh, you know, it's it's uh like a safety deposit box room, only you know yeah. more reinforced, shinier. 
Everything's covered in brass for some reason. And weird glowing space letters. Um, so there's obviously like a, a table in the middle or countertop. You can, you know, look at your stuff and take your box out, whatever. Uh, he dives behind that for cover. He's going to uh, pop up and auto fire attack Wevu. Okay. Oh, so you're at short range. Yep. You're rolling heavy. This is normally two purples because he adds one for. I think I'll. Auto fire. I'll pop dodge. All right. How many ranks of dodge do you have? One. Red, purple. And then what's your range defense right now? Uh, let's see here with no armor on. Uh, zero. Okay. <laughs> Two advantage. There it is. <laughs> There's me rolling dice as NPCs. <laughs> and the, the extra dice for auto fire literally did not matter. <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand that dodge saved your bacon so good choice yeah. there uh where's the chart for this bacon. two immediately perform maneuver add black let's 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 add a black to to Webu's next check this guy like suppressing fires over your head yeah the boss will rattle around in this brass room a little <laughs> just like yeah. duck yep Blaster fire going all, all over the place. All right. Let's see. Uh, now the two groups of minions will go. Uh, they will pull out their Stockley spray sticks, and they will attempt to spray Wevu with spray. Because ah. they just want to escape. Okay. So we'll have the first one roll. They're going to roll. What's your ranged heavy, boys? Okay, so it you have it. One pa. Nusa. Are you going to dodge the spray stick attacks? Keep in mind their base damage is zero. I won't try to dodge. Okay. Alright, so that'll be three whole wounds. I'm pretty sure you soak that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with, oh, see. I... Yeah. Hold on. Four soak, yeah. forgot this is accurate too it does nothing cool all right so uh let us activate then assuming these are the correct ones right things okay and they shake two so we're gonna hit you with because i have four advantage we're gonna ensnare okay so you are immobilized for four turns, unless you make a check to break out. And we're going to activate stun eight. So you suffer eight strain. Not eight strain damage, so no soak. But if you have anything that, when you involuntarily suffer strain, you take less, that would kick. Let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to double check. You are not harmed by being hit with a uh, st sticky mist spray, but it does yeah. quickly harden into gooey, translucent fibers. Okay. Which uh, tingle on your skin have and your fur. I don't have a thing against direct stun damage. Direct right. stun. Okay. Direct strain, so whatever. So they fire that at you. Uh, they see that you're bound up, so the next group of guys to go will just move into uh, melee and attempt to uh, thump you with stun sticks. Okay. They go for a melee hit, they will engage and thump do you have any melee defense? Uh, zero melee defense. This is inaccurate one. When it is a melee. All right, that'll be nine stun damage. Nine stun Before damage. So. Um, nine stun damage. That'll be five to parry. Oh, wait, that's incorrect. I forgot the lieutenant has an ability... ELF tactics, minion groups who can see and hear him get plus one soak and deal plus one damage on combat check. So that'll be uh, 10 damage before soak. 10 damage. Okay, 10 strain. Okay, 4, 6. Um, think I'll. Think I'll parry. Okay. So I'll suffer 3 strain. And I think I eat. Six for soak and then four more. Yeah. Okay. 
So I just suffer, suffer three strain, I think. All right. You, uh, you know, your, your, your feet are stuck. You're a little woozy, but you're able to still move your lightsaber around and basically position it between you and the strikes, and they cannot connect with you without shearing up their own weapons because they don't have kurtosis, so... Yeah. They would they would be tearing up their own weapons to actually hit you, so you parry. Yeah. All right. Uh, they'll do the one boost to give themselves uh, yeah. one boost die, or whichever one of their allies goes boost die. So it's use. Yeah. Uh, clone troopers will do, you know, their own effects if you give them an order. Okay. So you tell them to do something, they'll do it. Otherwise, you have your own sets of actions and stuff as you're up. Okay. Right, and telling them an order is an action? Uh, no, it's just, you can just tell them to do something and they'll do it. Okay. If you want to guarantee they, like, typically with, like, companion actions, it's usually you spend maneuver to give your allies an action and maneuver, but I think with this many guys, we can just, you yell at them to do something, I'll roll some dice and they'll do it. Okay, I'll just, guess I'll just tell them to, uh, uh, right, since this is probably not the only way out of this place, so, uh, tell them to cut off, cut off this, I guess, other, other way out. So uh, just There's no other way out of this room you have charged into. It is a safety deposit box. Room. Okay, okay, so, um... There are probably some exits of the corridor behind you, which these guys may be able to flood into soon because you are immobilized. Okay, but so for now there's uh, no other immediate exits. Okay, so yeah, best idea just form form printer around, make sure they can't can't escape. All right. Okay. So they will impose penalties on anybody trying to leg it out of here. Okay, now or I make still roll contested. I guess I don't know. Anyway, yeah, still have an action. I'll uh, yeah, yeah. boop this person. Boop All right, uh, hitting guys who are already engaged with you, I assume. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With GG. Are you activating your dampening emitter? I said he already had it on. Okay. I would have to take him over to unactivate it. Right. And either way, since I wasn't already thinking, hey, I'm going to kill dudes. This is not a killing situation. <laughs> well, it's true. They've only done they've only done stun damage so far, technically. Yeah. Okay. So you 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 the uh that. Any defense on this guy? Uh, on the the minions, no. Okay, any okay, no defense. Okay, you you you, chichi, pa 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 pa, that that that. Okay, I think I have a oh right, and I have one setback. Yep. Okay, time to do this. That is thirteen stun damage. No breach. Right. Yeah. Okay, so they get six soak because of their boss's special ability, but that still leaves seven damage. So you drop one. You you know with a dampening emitter on your lightsaber's magnetic field is much stronger. You basically just swing your saber like a baseball bat, and one of the minions goes flying across the room. Ah! Flams into some safety deposit boxes. Truly, we are okay. laser batting today. Okay. I uh, guess you have. Four Adventaginos to spend. And there's still another one in this group? Uh, there's five more guys in this group, Chief. Oh, wow. Uh, in case that wasn't clear, there's there's uh, about a half dozen of them. Okay, so I'll do another two Double. to linked. All right. You just drop another one. <laughs> pivot. You know, with the other the the back half slice, you just bat another guy. He flies back out the door past the clone troopers. One of them probably sits on him. Uh, and also, let's see, that was seven both times. So that would be okay. That's not quite enough to drop a third guy. Okay. But uh, there's technically one of the the three remaining minions has like four wounds on it or strain. Okay, Whatever. and then all oh, let's see here. It's my 
Is my lights here? Okay, I'm just double check my lights here before it's crit rating. Oh, right, can't crit with <laughs> the DAP emitter, so. Can't crit with yeah. no. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm going to use two for. Hmm. Because I could heal strain with that, since I would have to take an action to actually get out. Uh, yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. Two. You are a little being a little stunned right now. Yeah, so I'll heal for two. Okay. Uh, don't forget you have the healing amulet. That gives you a little bit extra. Oh, yeah, so one more. Uh, it does heal all the strain that I did from my parry. If I remember correctly, I think it should be two more because I believe it has. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, oh, oh, yes, it. Oh, yes, it does, actually. Oh, yeah. Very efficient. Good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. You're healing up. You know, it was a little annoying getting cover getting covered in sticky mist, but uh, on the other hand, hitting these guys with your lightsaber like it's a blunt instrument is uh, kind of relaxing. So here we are. <laughs> Top of the round. Um, I'll alternate minions and then the, the lieutenant man. Uh, okay. The next group of minions who's not already engaged with you will go. They're going to become engaged with you. They will attempt to hit you with their stun sticks. Okay. Fucking huge, like pile up i mean yeah no web was literally being pressed by now like i mean it's it's more like closer to 10 guys because she already dropped two guys out of the first group basically oh. one swing one mook but it's, oh yeah i forgot about my multiple opponents on that thing but oh, oh well yes, sorry you should remember that for sure probably wouldn't have had anything you should but, remember oh, that well. in the future <laughs> yeah all right roll much <laughs> okay uh, no defense on your saber, right? So it's just... Yeah, no defense on saber. Look, you might be terrorizing um, the evil regime with a helicopter, but I'm paying attention. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, that will be nine damage correctly this time. Yeah. That is stunned. So it's four... Okay, so nine damage... Okay, five. I'm going to parry to reduce that to uh, zero. Okay. Uh, so three strain. You know, you throw your you throw your tail out in front of you and just you know block their bodies with it. Yeah. Push them back. Uh, they'll use those two setback dice to give you uh, another black die in your next action. Okay. You are being, uh, you know, pressed in by a lot of dudes in a moderately confined space. Even more so, because I'm going to have the lieutenant go. He's going to leave cover, having realized that you're oops all melee. He'll challenge you to a punch-off. He will, you know, drop off his weapon and just be like, I'll handle this. And he flexes his biceps in his armor. He's I'll going to it. attack you with his mighty foos. <laughs> so clearly, you must have a flex-off. And, and just um, and just a strain upon his body. What well, is this uh, death row to cannon now? Got a bodybuilding skill flex off. <laughs> All right. So he's gonna roll his brawl dice versus you. Just... <laughs> in there. Mm. Oops, all the damage. Uh, well, that means I will activate uh, Disorient 2 and Knockdown. So you are disoriented okay. for two turns and you are knocked prone. Uh, he just comes at you with a flying clothesline and it doesn't really hurt you, but it does take you to the floor and kind of take your breath away. You are now okay. on the ground slightly about to be curb stomped by like 10 dudes. <laughs> Okay. And the clones are kind of locking up the, the, the doorway like, are we supposed to just stand here? I mean, they're not just shooting into like the huge crowd of people. <laughs> it's true. They are not. They are not. But uh, whether it's you up. Okay. So I'm going to activate jump up. That's yeah, that's an incidental. So you don't care about the fact that you're still covered in, 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 you know, sticky, in, in silly string. Yes. Uh, let's see Hello? here. Um, hmm. Guess, uh, 
think what I'm going to do actually is going to try to break out of the goo. All right, that'll be a, I believe, become D becoming immobilized is. It? Is it? Yep, an uh, it is a hard athletics check. To Hulk out. Okay, ye ye ye, pa 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 fa 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 fa. Yeah, that's everything. Pa 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 fa 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 fa. Well, I'm going to do two success. Actually, okay. no, wait. One success, one threat. Okay, all right. All right, you still take one strain, but you just, you know, v vertically, you know, actually, no, you probably, like, ukemi roll backwards in a perfect reverse somersault, and then just, Phew! sticky string goes everywhere. You are free. <laughs> you may take Yay. maneuvers normally. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to... I guess the other thing I'll do is take a defensive stance. All right. And commit to uh, uh, sense. All right. That's all. Okay. The the clones have effectively formed the like ring line of like a street fight or a rap battle and are just cheering you on. <laughs> Get him, General! Punch him! Dump him! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's go again. Uh, let's do. You want to do punchmen or minions? Uh, actually, no. Yeah, the the I got the idea. The boss will turn to his minions and go, "Go, go, you fools, go!" Uh, so they're gonna attempt to skedaddle. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna roll some athletics checks. Posed by your wall of cloney boys. To yes. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so let's see. So... Check stuff. Okay, so they're going to roll. What? Are you guys trained in athletics? You are not. Great. <laughs> That's funny. Clones are definitely because of all that PT. Oh method. yeah, Clo Clo uh, You'll you'll see in a sec when I roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> that PT better pay off. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. So the first group, uh, we'll say that's the group that's only got three guys in it, just tries to just barrel past you and press out, and they just run into like I said, like a dozen clone guys who just. You know, they kind of off, off kilter them a little. Uh, they'll give themselves a boost die on their next attempt to get out of here. Uh, it like kind of like loses their f their footing, um, but they don't really go anywhere. They just kind of, you know, it's it's like running into a wall. Only the wall is dudes in dress uniforms. Uh, the second group will go. They will make the exact same check. Yeah, those guys are just straight up get two failure. The the they try to run around on the other side of the ring of clones and they just you know gun in one hand hand in another and just pushes against the armor and just like pushes them back and they scooch back. Uh, so that just leaves the rival will attempt to punch you again. Okay. Would you like to activate sense or anything? Uh, yes. Uh, do you upgrade twice for sensor, just once? Yeah, twice. Okay, so he's gonna roll two reds. Mmm. <clears throat> Good oh, use of sense. Alright, so you get to decide what to do with the despair. Uh, you cannot do the parry thing with him, because you don't <laughs> yeah, need to parry this. Do... He does not hit you. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, let's see here. <laughs> These punches do not have ammo. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he can't actually disorient or oh. knock you prone this time either. That's right, they requires hitting. Okay, so the thing I'm going to do is... um, uh, Make him fall prone. <laughs> okay. All right, so you, you let him go past you. You overbalance him. Uh, he'll spend... Three to get plus one melee defense. Okay. Until the end of the turn. Until the end of his next turn. Uh, oh, then... yeah, there was supposed to be a setback to that due to defensive stance. Oh, yeah. 
I kind of, oh yeah, and I forgot about my own setback. Uh, nah, yeah. I don't think you did. Uh, well, actually, yeah, no, you were disoriented, so you should have probably rolled that on your athletics. I don't think it mattered. Yeah. It's fine. We're speed down here. We're all speed here. How are you? <laughs> By the it's way, fine. the raw audio has passed the 30-minute mark, as predicted. <laughs> yeah. Let's, we will probably yeah. be here for another 30 minutes unless Wevo tells her clothes to just shoot these guys. Okay. They have stun settings. Um, okay. Is it my turn now? Uh, no, uh, I just oh, need to specify good. that he's got one more advantage. He's going to spend that to give whoever goes next on his side one boost die. If I remember. Okay. Now it is your turn. Okay, so I'm going to tell the guys to stun the heck out of these guys. All right, now that they're disengaged from you, sure. All right, they'll do that uh, when your turn is over. Okay, and now I'm going to do... Well, I did challenge me to punch off. <laughs> do I really want to <laughs> rely with my not-so-good punching? I mean, I think, like... I mean, he started this bat. encounter by shooting at you with an automatic weapon. Yeah, I don't need to honor that. <laughs> So I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is activate, uh, right. Saber Swarm? Yeah, I'll activate Saber Swarm. I'll keep the damping emitter. And then I'll... Even more linked. I'll break the defensive stance, yeah. And then I'll attack. Okay. Attack him? Yeah. Alrighty, he has adversary one. Okay, so that's so one red, upgrade one once. Plus. It's two purples. because uh, He has technically two melee defense right now. He has one inherent, and he spent uh, advantages on it. Okay. Then I have... So you add two setback. You are still disoriented yeah. until the end of this turn. And... Yeah. I I'm believe until the end of this turn, you still get defensive stance. He is also yeah. yeah. But you do get a boost die because he is prone. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you are no longer engaged by more guys, so you don't get your... Yeah. Uh, your don't get to include that. Yeah. Okay. So I have a I lot of stuff to remember. So that's three posts. There's four... Uh, because I'm going to include that thing I forgot. Yep. Okay, ye 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 jiji parasa yada ya. That's everything. Time to see if I hit or not. Okay, that's well, 11 yep. down damage. All right, he soaks five, six. Okay, now I'm going. How many, how many activations of link did you have? I have, I have at least link five I can activate on two advantage per so that's at least three uh, more all right you, yeah if you're just going to keep activating link you'll get him probably on the second or third hit sure uh because he's got he's got he's got five soak but he only has 16 wounds so yeah you just basically trip this guy he flops on the ground he kind of goes for a curl raises above his head and you just you just flip your lightsaber around and use it almost like a fishing spear only it's blunt and just bonk Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> you just bonk him until he stops guarding himself and just kind of has flopped over, stunned. Okay. I imagine it makes a sound like a PVC pipe hitting a hitting a baseball. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. Because it's 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 you know the the way dampening works is it like futzes with the magnetic field to like make it not like lethal plasma. So there's like. <laughs> Probably some some hollow tube sounds and maybe a little bit of electrical hiss. Yeah. Zorch. Bonk. Oh, oh, this uh, and now uh, the clones will just uh, open fire on those guys with pistols. So they're going to roll. <laughs> roll for that one. These okay. are like the base. These are like the base nine. Base damage nine tens, yeah. Break a pistol. So I've only got five soak. What's the base damage on a DC seventeen M hand blaster? Uh, let me check because I think it was like it's accurate one and like pierce one. Base damage, my dude. Uh, nine. Checking. If it's accurate, I should remember. Yeah. I'll double check. 
the stat line I have handy is for guys in the field with rifles, which these guys are not carrying. Hand blaster. It is accurate one, so but it is seven. Okay. Yeah, seven okay. accurate one. Yeah. Reroll add me. All right, it didn't matter on those guys. I'll remember for the next one. Uh. So, I mean, they got a triumph. Uh, I don't remember if you can stun setting, but they can do the thing to demobilize a minion. It's fine. Okay. So let's see. Nine. Uh, we'll do it in order. We'll say that's the one that had left. So they uh, they stun a guy. They stun another guy. There's one minion left. He will probably be uh, narratively taken care of because he is outnumbered by several rival caliber clones, and he is one <laughs> minion. So I'll roll for the second group. Roll. Yeah. Pa. That is not as... So uh, the second round of stunning, they do drop one of the guys. Uh, but there's still like five minions left in this group. Okay. So there's basically one minion group of five left kind of behind you, pressing up against the clones. Uh, <laughs> top of the round, they will attempt to run away again. You never know. We might succeed. Nope. <laughs> Red dice doing they, they're just kind of like trying to shoulder check the clones out of the way. And uh, hey, guess what? We begin with physical conditioning. It doesn't work. <laughs> you know, these amateur bank robber come terrorists are not a match for uh, guys who work out on the reg and spar yeah, right. with a martial artist, a magical oh, martial artist. Overly, overly trained clones. So, uh, I, I will say for free without you needing to order, the one lone minion is is definitely going to get just, uh, like kind of we did at the ba the barroom fight, he's just going to get manhandled. Like, four or five clones just put hands upon him and he is taken into custody. Okay. So there's one minion group of about five guys left. It would be your go. What do you want to do about this, Wevu? Okay, so I'm going to approach them. All right. And I'm going to activate Saber Swarm. All right. And then I'm going to bonk kiss them. Am All I right. still disoriented? What? No, no. Yeah, it's it's been so. enough turns. Okay. Uh, there's a shitload of minions, so I believe that that's explicitly noted for multiple enemies. That if you're yeah. engaging a single minion group, you get it. So get okay, in there. it's uh, been so long, but I'm I'm reminded uh, of the of you know the old uh, the old Genji memes. You know when you hear Genji's ult pop behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Time to see what happens. It's like, well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, well, so that's fourteen die. stun. <laughs> All right, and uh, you've got about four activations of linked back there. So yeah, no, um, you just wade in with your saber and just boom, bop, bop smack, drop. You know, you catch one guy like you sweep his leg, and then you come up with the other end and you know smack him in the head, so he does a fucking you know end over end flip, and they just all five guys are just laid out unconscious, groaning on the floor. Okay, now the other guy just gets manhandled. Yeah, he just gets cuffed up. Uh, yeah. You should roll to recover strain. An encounter. Okay, uncommit sense now. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I roll. Pr Prilla has, uh, you know, holds up her data pad and says, oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing! <laughs> I don't think the pictures are going to work out. <laughs> Look at it. Look at how blurry you are. <laughs> uh, data pad. She took stills. Oh, oh, oh okay. They're they're bad stills. There's just there's just a brown blur and uh, what color is your lightsaber again? Blue. Yeah, I think it's blue. An icy blue. Yeah, it's just it's just you know electric blue blur and and you know brown otter blur, and just guys lying on the ground. He's gonna okay. Be so great on the holonet. Yeah, you'll get a good story out of this. <laughs> So we can now finally rejoin. Uh, that was technically happening while you guys were having your dramatic fight where uh, where Arama punched a guy off the roof. <laughs> Crunch. 
And so you guys can all rejoin together. <laughs> yeah, the, the marshals will, you know, some of the some of the plainclothes marshals and the uniform marshals will duck out to, you know, uh, cuff everybody and, and haul them off for questioning. Okay. Uh, Jedi generals, do you have any particular thoughts about this situation, or are you just, you know, happy to be off the clock? I'm happy to be off the clock. <laughs> yeah, no, I have to... Oh. No, I'm happy to be off the clock again. I'm I'm sick Alrighty. of being I'm sick of being on on this fucking this fucking sweaty ass suit and you get dressed. And... All right, you you need you drink. pop out. Europa uh, assists you. You know, address fixing your dress <laughs> that she made. You may have must a little slipping into some riot gear. <laughs> Everybody puts their weapons back. Yep. <laughs> Put them back. I know there was just a hostage situation, but there's still rules. Yeah, was gonna go back to the stuff. baggage collection you go. Yeah, I was going to go put his stuff back on. All right. Everybody scoots back out, and we have <laughs> entered the cocktail hour. The bar is open, and alcoholic drinks are being served. It is open bar. You don't have to pay for drinks. No <laughs> nuts. Uh, light dancing music will also be playing here if people want to loosen up or if they're choosing not to drink. Guests can get to know each other and, uh, you know, build up some hunger for dinner, lighten up, and relax a little. Uh, hors d'oeuvres are also being served. You have light snacks such as grilled sea cucumbers, stuffed starfish, and little <laughs> spicy fish bites. All right. Nice. All righty. So, cocktail hour. Let us have... Oh man, what's our paranoia level now? We just got through a hostage situation. <laughs> High. <laughs> Moderate. <laughs> Better question, what's your cocktail level? Yeah, I know. That's the <laughs> It's like how much to drink right now. <laughs> I mean, it is still early. It's the cocktail hour, but that's just to that's supposed to, you know, loosen people up, not get you smashed so you have to go home. No, people are going <laughs> to get fucking smashed. Oh, people are yes, no. <laughs> the the barman's already going. You you see you see droids with you know uh, trays with fistfuls of bubbly. Uh, In fact, the the bar probably makes sure to distribute everybody a drink immediately as a sign that the cocktail is over because you know it wasn't it wasn't that freaky. There were a couple bullets fired into the air, uh, and then you know the Jedi punch lady just punched everybody, and it was fine. <laughs> Maybe some stuff happened on a roof somewhere. Maybe some guys had to wear some some bomb vests. It's okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> and the senator is still practicing his speech. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right then. Let's do some let's do some light drinking, and I'm gonna attack these fishy uh, these uh, these uh, spicy fish bites. I, I can't believe I have like two drinks and then try the same thing. Actually, so yeah. Yeah. And then. Well, um, and, and you know. Different different drinks have different levels of alcohol. Like, is this like you know spirits? You know, are you getting, uh, you know, Corellian whiskey on the rocks, or is this like, you know, my good man, give me, give me one of those little craft beers kind of a thing. Yeah, hmm. Boots is gonna go back and get another drink and just sit down at the bar. All right. I think our ma will partake in mostly lighter stuff maybe a couple right. mixed drinks maybe a wine cooler of some variety sure there are a wide variety of wines from uh local vintages to to classic core world yes yeah, so whoever has to spend a little bit a little bit of time grooming all the the sticky mist glued to her fur mm -hmm. yeah Temo's gonna have something light for the first one and the second one's a heavier one but he's gonna drink that one slowly all right, so you you probably start with like a a fairly mild, you know, you know, bottle of beer. You probably knock that one back pretty pretty quick, and then you nurse a heavier drink for a while. Mm -hmm. Boots, I think, us just goes straight to uh, you know, nursing a heavier drink. It sounds like. Yes. <laughs> uh, you, my friend, get uh, uh, the highest quality Wyron's Reserve because the bartender remembers you. Thanks. He pours you a I'm lovely, like high quality Corellian whiskey. Feel free to join me when you, if you want. Alrighty. So, uh, I, I it sounds like you guys are mostly uh, order hors d'oeuvres and drinking. Uh, yeah. Does anybody feel feel you know up for light dancing, or is this just kind of you guys are going to sit back and relax a little? 
No, I'm no, it is time to cut a rug. So like I said, <laughs> l- light dancing. <laughs> yeah. What what we got got She needs to nurse break and just some snacks. Actually, what is, what is oh, I'm at two uh, unless the yellow duralist drags her to a death hole. No. Uh, Prilla is telling the story of how you defeated a dozen guys. Uh, you suspect that number is probably going to be 25 guys by the time the night is over to anyone who will, who will, who will dare to listen to her. <laughs> who dares? And I would just not current Carol that much. Let us. So I'm going to drag Europa to the dance floor. All right. You know, it's 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 just light. No, no, the tempo's uh, decently decently fast, but not heavy. So it's mm-hmm. it's all right. Mm-hmm. You are, I'm pretty sure, trained in charm quite well. So I don't think I need to make you roll. You're not like, you know, you're setting your own pace. Mm. No, we're not. We're not doing those. It's just like. We're doing a little shimmying. We're doing a little shang, swing. You know, you do it in time to the 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 brass equality of the house band, who's mm-hmm. getting quite fired up. They got stuff to do. <laughs> you know, shake it out. All righty. Actually, <laughs> him at the point of charm. He's just gonna try some casual dancing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just gonna be that fucking scene from the fucking event, um, from fucking Winter Soldier. Just that one dude on the dance floor. Just what was that? Uh, not Winter uh, Soldier. Um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. The fucking clip of Baron Zemo getting down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Gift search. Don't fail me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Marvel put out a fucking loop of this, by the way, for like ten minutes. <laughs> wow! Because <laughs> they know they know what's up. <laughs> they are so on the times. Yeah. Drop some bits All right, so you know, Kama gets yeah. out there and and grooves a little. Are you gonna look for a dance partner, or are you just gonna go solo a little, perhaps? I'll find so. I'll, I'll look for someone if someone's around. Willing. All right. If not like don't bother. Don't like push it though. Oh, you know, Armada Gunstar will dance with you. Wonderful. She probably takes in a little bit more of a, you know, classic do si do kind of angle, but you're all right. You you can you've got, you know, the ability to put your your right foot and left foot in the proper place. I got the coordination for it. You know, don't step on anybody's toes. You're doing okay. Webwood boots, I think, are just lurking near the bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, I have to. I think I have to. You have to. I have to pick this vignette. Oh, no. <laughs> Ever a dance off? <laughs> no. No. Much worse. All right. Uh, you know, I was thinking it would, I would definitely have to try and get uh, Boots in this one, but if he's sitting still, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take this to Camo. Run away! <laughs> Camo, you're you know you're minding your own business. You 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 finish your dance as the as the band works up a you know a really really jazzy number. You know you're starting to feel the groove. You're loosening up a little. You know you were a little tense before, having to punch yeah. guys. You know you're feeling great. Uh, you do you know you you do kind of a big you know spin around move with with uh, Armanda. You know twirl, very very you know square dancing style. Uh, and you come back with your hand and you bump somebody. You just bump somebody with something. Oh, no. And you hear a, a, a pained aristocratic <gasps> behind you. Cam immediately looks towards Armand's direction. Okay, wait. Okay, she noticed. Okay, look at the person. I'll, I'll, I'll notice if Armand notices anything in a second. Um, you uh, accidentally caught with your backhand a, a drink server and uh, and spilled a drink onto uh, of some very expensive wine onto the uh, dress uh, of a woman, uh, you know, all down the front. Classic move. Uh, and and you, uh, her husband is standing there. He is dressed in a very old-fashioned looking suit. Uh, looks to be maybe in his mid-30s. Uh, kind of a severe haircut. And he's like, excuse me, sir. I said, How I- dare you? Uh, you have ruined my wife's lovely ancestral dress. Oh, this will not stand. This offense is a front. It is not good. 
I challenge you, sir. He uh, takes off his glove and throws it upon you. I, I don't know if Camo catches it at reflex or not. I don't know if he catches the glove or not. But Decide what you think is better. You gotta catch I it? Think he, I think he does. And he's like, All right, you catch like, the glove out of the air. And he like, says, I, 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 you, sir, I challenge you. My honor must be satisfied. My poor wife. She's like, it's, it's fine, but the dress is not fine. And he's like, no, it will not stand. Swords, blast swords upon the roof, sir. At sunset. <laughs> it is already sunset. Fuck. Uh, well, you know, we, we shot a narratively significant glance at Arama, so... Uh, hey, Dance Boss, how you doing about this? I think- well, I'm assuming I can hear all this. Eh, yeah, you've got pretty good ears and magical not eyes. Mm-hmm. You'll be like, are you sure you want to do this? Of course, sir, my, my honor demands it. Satisfaction! Satisfaction! All right, oh, so I guess... Pete, a little I, too hard on that I second guess, read. I guess Arm... Well, um... Arm, I will just slide into these DMs. Just... And... It's it's like shooting a horror movie. The camera pans left, and then when it pans back, Arm is just there. <laughs> Arm has done this before, yeah. <laughs> but, um... It's like... A soldier, um... Arma will, you know, take a sip from her wine and just be like, soldier, what goes on here? I have been honor challenged, I think. Yes, an affront to my family honor, the personal honor of my wife, and the honor of her family as well. This dress has been in our family for generations. It is bespoke. It is ruined. Oh, no. One million years of dungeon. Not that last bit. That's just <laughs> that's just me riding riding the voice. And it's like um, you know taking blast the swords. It's like sir, a moment. Europa uh, and I will call Europa over, who is you know good at this kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, yeah, you call her over. And it's like you're. She was probably not far behind you. You yeah. know she took. You know you you broke up for a second. She did a little solo dance and just. Mm-hmm. Waltzes over. So, you know, I'll, I'll ask Europa, it's like, Europa, how damaged is this dress? Is it, can it be fixed? She kind of... Uh, she kind of looks at the dress. She shoots you a, uh, a pointed aside look that uh, you know says, okay, do you want me to lie about this? Because... It's like, you know, it's like, uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll give, I'll give, you know, the small shake. Just, you know, give it straight. Well, I'm not familiar with this style but the material it could probably be repaired under uh special circumstances special circumstances um alcohol damage is uh nothing to shake a stick at mm. as this as is, we say in the biz so this is pretty uh, usually you use alcohol to uh to deep clean things but uh it's probably damaged the fibers and the pigments mm. so this is actually you would you would need a. The, I mean, it's not impossible. We, you know, rest, uh, she, she, uh, you know, kind of gently, you know, pats the woman on the arm because she's now she looks maybe a little more upset. She was she was being a little more mild than her husband. She seemed a little more upset at that, and she, she Ripa kind of pats her on the shoulder and says, "Uh, you know, in, in the in the serve in the Explore Corps, we've we've restored, you know, artifacts and and things that are thousands of year old. I'm sure it could be arranged. It would just take." Uh, some time, and then there's the pause, and then the the man cuts in. Uh, and the expense? No, I will not have it. He two points. You, sir, satisfaction. Is it, both, is... both my honor and my wallet must be compensated. <laughs> you so demand it. Oh, it's gonna... like it's like. Well, at this point, um, Arma will turn to Camo and be all like, "Well, this is something actually quite." Quite serious in some in some ways, Camo. That's like, but it is a, if you want, I can probably try and figure out something else. But if you want to satisfy his honor, I will not. I will not gainsay you. Daryl, in my own personal opinion, this is probably a shot in the dark. But maybe you like your force abilities can like I guess extract the alcohol from the dress. I don't know. How what that are works, you? But... That's not how the force works. <laughs> I don't you get know to how the force light. works. <laughs> He says that's not how the force works. <laughs> Europa kind of, kind of, sort of voce behind you says, "I 
think I could do that, but that would take me a couple of a couple of hours of practice. I've never worked on something so delicate before. I will still I will go placate this man with a duel. That's like Fun facts, you can use manipulate to make items and weapons not damaged, but Oh okay. Uh Europa has never practiced that on, you know, modern soft cloth with alcohol. She's probably like, you know, fused bits of starships and like stone objects together. Um Well, okay then. Well then um Arma will turn to the challenger and be like, all right. All right, sir. Well, I guess there's only one, two ways we can go about this. Either you will demand your satisfaction, and regardless of the outcome, the matter will be settled, or we can try and settle this more peaceably. And like I said, if you will, and and if you, you will fund the expense, I'm sure we can find some way that the service corps can restore your lovely wife's dress. I fund? No, I will not. Yes, yes no. This is out of the question. It is a matter of per- personal responsibility. Very well then. I will, I will, the do, you for those who, I will do you for who will fork the bill. Was that? He basically will who, whoever forks the bill. Very well, if you will accept on those terms, I will have at you. All right. To the roof! Smash cut. <laughs> Did he, does he have like dual like, pistols or some shit? Or, no, like, he said uh, he said to blast swords. So oh, okay. and uh, I think we might you know we might be a little past the, the time to switch that. Yeah, he just kind of okay. rolled with it. Uh, he okay. produces two blast swords. Um, you know, he hands things? one to you. He gives you a couple of minutes to familiarize yourself with it. Uh, it is a. It, it's it, it's a, probably a maybe a cutlass sized weapon. Yeah. It is, uh, you know, probably about as uh, maybe as long as your arm. Uh, uh, honestly, uh, the the design of the blade is not too unfamiliar to you. Um, it's it's a you know a heavy chopping blade like the best gad though. It's this isn't quite as heavy because it's uh, not made of that in in terms of steel. But um, like it blade. has a curved pistol grip and a you know broad curved handle. Uh, because the spine of the blade is actually a uh, crude blaster barrel, uh, complete with power pack. Uh, when you activate a primer switch, the end of the weapon uh, glows with uh, red ready lights. And if you pull the trigger, it uh, detonates an extremely short-range blaster shot at the tip. Uh, so it's uh, very flashy, uh, very loud, and uh, hits are very obvious, because if you, you know... Depress the end, of the tip of the blade, with the trigger depressed, it will go bang, bang. So uh, the stats on this is, I think it. That's probably nicer, but yeah. Uh, that's a little too thin. I have a comic book panel actually that shows off. I have seen that one too. Yeah. So yeah. Choppy swingy. Yeah. Uh, and so right. those are the stats you are provided. They are base damage 7, because they're technically an energy weapon. They're crit 2, engaged, defensive 1, pierced, vicious 2. Is this to first blood, or is it just to first 1 to pass out? To the death? No. No. No, that's... that's Uh, He would probably insist, you know, until one of us yields? Okay. The satisfaction? You really like... You guys could attempt to probably talk him into, like, first touch or something. Which would still suck for somebody, <laughs> um, but I I don't know. Camo might feel better about going to the yield because that would probably would be until Camo passes out. Yes. All right. Uh, let's roll initiative. This guy's uh gonna get stumpled. I will adjudicate, I suppose. All right. Just watch it, just in case something doesn't go bad. Uh, well, do you want to get a do you want to get a medic on staff? Because you know your clone medic is just sitting at the bar drinking. Yeah, no, let's uh, let's um, yeah, no, we need we're gonna I'm dragging boots up here. All right, boots, you are summoned to go watch a, watch a duel. You do not have to leave your uh your stuffed starfish bites and whiskey behind. No, no, I'm taking him with me. Are you kidding me? Yep. 
There is no stop. So dinner and a sh- dinner and a show. That's right, Boots dude. eats popcorn popcorn shrimp while he watches. Mm, popcorn shrimp. Axe, you should roll initiative. Pop- okay. Yes. Drink. Uh, watching this while popping a squat on the floor and drinking. So I don't think Camo can do things without going ham. So I'm going to spend two strain. Hey, fair enough. You don't know when you're next going to get a chance to rest. I really wanted to get uh, Boots with this one, by the way, but because uh, Loth went out of his way to say that Boots was, you know, sitting down at the bar and, and kind of relaxing, I was like, mm, Cam was up and about. This is a very, this is yeah. a very like, Boots adventure. I, I don't know. I don't know. Boots might have been like, no, sir, I challenge you to fisticuffs. Or he would have just been, boss, make this go away. <laughs> make this man stop. Yeah. Uh, after being blindsided by uh, totally not April O'Neil, Boots is just having a rough day of it. It's okay. She's not talking to any about Tubes of Clon right now. She is talking about uh, <laughs> the 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 Wevu wind, the world Wevu. Some scars don't heal easily. <laughs> I swear she defeated fifteen guys. Oh no! With her pinky and her tail. And they were all seven feet tall. Okay. And breathe fire! With a shock <laughs> of red hair. No, okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Camo, you get first first move. Okay. I I think it's just a, like, dueling move of just, like, advance and then, like, thrust, stab, yep. poke the chest. You, you kind of go for a simple poke, okay? You probably yeah. started about blade length, so you're already engaged, so go for yeah, a poke. Just- Okay. Uh, this guy doesn't have any adversary, so we'll say it's average, but do you remember he's also using a blast sword, so he has one melee defense. Okay. I wish we died at third. Okay. Um, and this is where you do 50 billion damage, and he dies. No. I do have deadly accuracy on melee, but that's something. So let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to aim, because I'm already in a position, so I'm just going to aim for, like, properly to thrust. All right, yeah, just, you're, like, you're going to, you're going to, you know, you kind of stand there for a second, tips of your blades glowing in the in the fleeting sunset light. I feel like I shouldn't quick strike, but I feel like that might fit the moment of being like, no, I'm just going for it. Just go with the Aijutsu. Yeah, just go for the quick strike. Yeah, okay. He uh, hasn't acted yet. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Give that first strike. <laughs> that, and then there's that. Uh, you notice he probably has a very proper stance, you know. Arm behind his back, folds his body to you. Yeah. Set back. Uh, checking. I'm getting this right. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, okay. Not a huge load of damage. All right, let's see how much damage this is on the thing. It is... All right, so that is... So that's eight... Plus, I assume that's already adding brawn, or is it something else? No, no, this is, uh, it's technically an energy weapon, so it's flat damage. Oh, okay. So that'd be eight, and then it counts as a melee weapon for the case of, yep, like, Yep, it is, uh, use the melee skill. All right, so that'd be 12 pierce two. All right, so. It's probably about three soak. So, that's one off, so that was 12, right? Oh, uh, yes. All right. All right, he takes the hit. He's not down yet. Uh, do you wish to crit? I don't want to maim him, so... So, you, okay. I was I was wondering. That would probably get him to yield faster, but... Yeah, but I, I don't want to accidentally would... cut off a limb, because I feel like yes. that causes a problem. That is a very big risk with, with your with your setup. Okay. Because I would be doing, like... I could probably... Was I critting on this? This is crit 2. I could do... It would be, like, a plus 30. Yeah, it's be... already vicious, too. Yeah, so that nah, that's that's too risky. Nah, nah, it's dangerous. Okay, all right. Well, what do you want to do if anything with that six uh, advantage? Then can I? Let's see. I have disorient two as a skill, so I'm gonna use two of that to disorient him. All right. Solid. And then I'm gonna increase my melee defense by one. All right. Also solid. And I think the last one I'm gonna heal strength. Solid. All right. So I, I imagine you kind of you kind of pause, you kind of size up, you go in for a a, a quick flick of your wrist, you tap him on the chest. There is a Basically, it sounds like a gunshot. Bong! Ugh. You know, you let out a grunt. Um, and then for the you come along and you just whip the with a, a backhand uh, the butt of the the 
pistol slash sword against his temple to disorient him and just take a step back. The blade crossed in front of you defensively. Yeah. It's like... So he kind of shakes his head off a little, you know, his, his a severe haircut, slightly askew, uh, kind of a slightly smoking hole in his chest. He says, you're good, sir. How about you? Uh, he's going to go in for a strike. He will also aim. Okay. Uh, I'm not uh, going what's to your dodge, melee defense total? But no, you're going for a dodge. Okay. I'm not going to dodge. Cause... Okay, you're not going to dodge. All right. But I have two uh, melee defense because I still have the bodysuit under Werv. So. Mm -hmm. and, then... and then I have the one from the defensive and then one from the thing I bought. From like with the defensive, so I have four. Yeah. Oh, he... Four setback dice. Hmm. Hmm. They pay off. All right. Uh, what did uh, I get? Well, you could spend one for one to inflict strain, aka wounds. You could try and have him tire himself out. He's taken eleven so far. You don't know what his threshold is at, but he looks like he did not enjoy you smacking him in the in the chest with a blast sword. I could probably do it to get get a free aim, but I feel like right now actually I want to exhaust him, so like I deflect him and just kind of like push him back. I know. Yeah, yeah. You you adopted a defensive stance. You're probably not quite handling this like a dueling weapon. You're probably wielding it a lot more like the Biscad. So you, you know, you you catch him and you turn turn his blade aside. You know, you catch it with the, the basket hilt and just knock it away. Doesn't get anywhere near you. And kind of tire him out a little. All right, uh, it's your go again. Okay. Just going to go for a thump him. Yeah. Giving him a boobin. I've got a lot of these. I will spend one singular dark side point to upgrade your check once. So okay. make it a red purple. It's the only thing I, I quick check, so That's two of them down. But I'm still going to aim. Yep. That I, in my mind, the aiming just means that there's a lot of, there's some very nice beats in the choreo of this. It's like, pause, strike, strike, pause, strike, strike, pause. Yeah, it would be very, it'd be a thing that'd be really cool, like in like a five minute animation kind of thing. Yeah. So that is that's going to be. I think that's enough because that's going to be okay. So that is ten uh, plus the extra four. That's fourteen. Pierce two. Yep. Okay. So he would take that down to thirteen. But he, I, in my mind, he was at fifteen. He had fifteen total wound threshold. So that's like twenty something. Uh, I'm just pause like... and just. What? Go for it. I don't, I don't think it's a thing, but, like, non-lethal blow being, like, I don't want to actually, like, maim him, so it's, like, if I just, like, just have to, like, knock him on his ass kind of thing. Yeah, you kind of, you, you kind of lightly, maybe you let him, like, go by, you kind of lightly tap him in the small of the back and just propel him to the ground and, and he just kind of, uh, he's passed out. He can no longer fight, therefore he is yielded. Yeah. I, like, I guess, Boots? try to help him up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up. That's good to this. I'm heal strain off that advantage. All right. Uh, you, well, you finish an encounter, so you should roll the heal strain as well. I don't have any strain left. Okay. You're fine. Now, it shouldn't be that bad with this fellow, but, you know. Ah, well, well he's at two. over his wound threshold, so it's hard. Mm. Uh Pour People. your whiskey in his blaster holes. I was tempted, but no. That's a waste. Did, oh, that's a five, not a yellow. What am I doing? Five, five, green, green. What? Yeah, I know, right? Wait, let me even check. What does he even, if I tell him to, like, roll five? No, he's just like, that's not a die. Thanks, buddy. That's not a die. This All is right. a die. <laughs> so, uh, how many ranks of surgeon do you have? Two. Okay, so, so six. Be six. Is that twenty something? That's probably enough to bring him conscious. Uh, you you know rub some smelling salts in there. You 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 know you put some 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 medical packet pads under his over his wounds i did get two threat though yeah uh 
probably sore. <laughs> you no, uh, you take two strain because you when you when you want to be helping this guy. He's an he was an asshole to your brother. You yep. want to help this schmuck? Uh, but you you patch him up and you manage to get him kind of kind of conscious and he, you know, stands up. He's a little wobbly on his feet still. Uh, the the the, you know, there's still the the slight smell of burnt clothing and body hair where he got stung. Uh, and he and he just kind of you know, <clears throat> Kimbo extends a yes. hand to help him get up. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll take it. He's a little shaky. Very well, sir. My my honor is satisfied. <laughs> Very well. Quite, we'll call it a draw. You are you are quite skilled with the blade. Perhaps I should have studied it more instead of <laughs> dancing with my wife. While I was dancing with my wife, you were studying the blade. Correct. <laughs> I believe I shall find the bar and retire for the evening. Good day, sir. Just gonna pick up his blast sword and skedaddle slowly, slowly skedaddle, slow daddle. Is Kevin still up? Like, does, does Kevin for Kevin return the blast sword, or is he still holding it? Yeah, that's it. He takes it back. Okay. Unless yeah. you want to keep it. No. I'm fine. Now, what are you going to steal cool, it? <laughs> nah. Cool though. All right. Okay. You guys wander on back downstairs. Mm-hmm. He kind of speaks a lot about cavalry. It's like, no, nah, I'll, I'll I'll take you up on your duel. <laughs> I, I yeah. don't know. I, I I just feel like it speaks about it a little bit. It's like, Okay. Alrighty. Just offer a swig to the gentleman, like, want a drink? He kind of hit away as you No, no, sir. I am my own. I am perfectly alright. Uh, I you say so. You know, when, when you guys, when you guys, when you guys head back, there's, you know, yet another story. Uh, uh, young ladies are now uh, crowded at a respectful distance, whispering about camo. <laughs> They're staring respectfully. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? I'm just, I'm just imagining, you know, a classic, you know, cool guy at the party vibes. Are like, do you hear? You know that that, that one clone, one, one soldier, he dueled a guy on the roof. I guess you know. Not a mark on him. Welcome to your popular face, Camo. You got Gunstar dancing with you. You get all the young ladies going after you. I'm not against it. How nice. It's not something I'm used to, so it's not really know how to react. React positively. Give a wave to the girls. Give a wave to the girls. Maybe go ask them a couple to dance. I'll go try that. Camo goes to get some dances from some young ladies. Some of them uh, flee in girlish terror, but others are resident. <laughs> <laughs> what do you never rolled up on a pack of girls at a party and they just no. retreat? I think that would have mean to have them to actually roll up on a girl pack of girls. Well, you know, they, they don't look at you as if, like, ah, oh, you're our friend's brother. <laughs> there's going to be some interest well, there. you know, there's beforehand. probably some interesting confusion there, because you guys are mostly the same. But you have different haircuts, so it's fine. And you have different rank boards, so it's easy. Oh, no, I meant in real life, sorry. I know. It applies at the same time. Um, but no, uh, though, Arama, as you, as you watch this moment, you do notice... Uh, Armanda, perhaps in the distance, sipping, looking like whether or not she maybe needs to uh, rodeo <laughs> some of these uh, late coming women. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. Arma only uh, just has a. Uh, hang on. <laughs> she sees this, and she's just all like, oh ho. Cameron's <laughs> <laughs> the type of reads like, he'll say no when it matters, but he just won't say no to that. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> There's that one like old school like southern looking lady image. It's like from a you know soap opera or something that like he's used before, and I'm like, I wonder where that gif is. Which is like the lady turning around rapidly. I think I have it somewhere. 
Don't. I did Southern Belt and found this. That's pretty yeah. close, though. Not quite, but yeah. The hat is accurate. <laughs> yeah. I like the hat. Don't you know, Camo? You've already been branded. I feel like Camo would have a very I feel like I haven't that. been subtle, so. Yeah. <laughs> Not, not, quite, real? not quite, but this is also just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, the thing. I'm Talking to quiet. <laughs> I'm say, like, Kevin's the person that would be open to say that he's up for it, but it's more of he just won't say no. So it's like, he's not going to say no to it. <laughs> Armand right. now is now is now here. It's like, so Amanda knows. I know. But does Camo know? <laughs> 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 well, we'll okay, find out yeah. later tonight. All right. <laughs> You've been wonderful, people. Um, no, but uh, <laughs> I think because um, uh, obviously you went up to officiate. Uh, Europa has been uh, talking to the lady about uh, techniques and tribulations and possibly, you know, giving her some comm codes to, you know, talk to some people in the restoration department. You know, mm. you're Jedi. You do good stuff. You don't care about the bill. Hmm. Or do you? A little bit. Um, so you're kind of you're kind of standing by yourself and uh, a mental gen sidles up to you. Uh, it is not the senator. Though you do notice he appears to be, the senator appears to be popping in and out of the room. He will uh, he will, he will will pop out and socialize for a bit and he's like, oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, everything, everything's fine. It's all up all the above. I've got all my, all my notes and timing on my data pad. And he kind of, you know, pats his shoulder. He's like, oh, where did I leave that? No pink. You know, tosses him a security card. No pink. Double check on my data pad for me. I say, I say, I don't remember what my voice was. Oh no, Foghorn Lego one. <laughs> Oh, don't give it him. Dorpig is kind of like, yes, sir. Of course. Scuttles off. Scuttles back. Bad. It depends, sir. Um, no, that's weird. I left a hanging sentence. Luckily, I know what it does. Uh, but uh, no, uh, it is not the senator approaches you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a taller uh, human male. Human male. Yes, he's wearing a, a, a long, uh, you know, uh, bright red cloak. Uh, he kind of, you know, pulls it aside dramatically. Uh, he's, you see, he's wearing kind of a. It's a little bit of an antique style suit, uh, mm. maybe uh, a generation or so outdated from uh, what that guy uh, who started the duel was, duel guy had on. Uh, which kind of befits he. He seems to have a fairly young face, late twenties, early thirties, maybe. Uh, Blonde hair kind of slicked back behind the ears. Uh, aquiline features. And he kind of, you know, sweeps aside and says, Allow me to introduce myself. Count Zeus Burned, recently of Vision. Vision, uh, I'll be poli polite. Um, in turn, I'll do, you know, small bow and just be all like, uh, Oh, a pleasure, my good Count. Uh, What's your uh, rating in lore? Two? Let me double check that. Yes, two. Why don't you give me uh, an average lore check? But, you know, you offer the thing. Uh, he goes for the incredibly uh, dapper gentlemanly thing where he kisses your hand. The Count of Spacey Crystal. No, that's the fucking the anime... Oh yeah, Gonku Soil. No, that shit was wild. That was Space Mountain Crystal. Uh, let's see. With very wild fabric technology going on with their shirts. Well, actually, that's actually. Uh, but fair, but that's as as fair. you're uh, as you're thinking about things, uh, he will uh, have, you know, kiss your hand himself. He will he will say he is. I'm making the rounds, uh, uh, Lady the Jedi. And I, average. Average. Okay. I, was, I, was I would I would love to take a polite. Rolling. Solid. All right. Vision. Vision. Uh, spelled. You've heard of that one before. What do you remember about that? Oh yeah. That's a that's a that's a planet on the opposite end of the outer rim. Uh, oh, it's in the near the old Sith space. Oh. You remember it fondly, be uh, not fondly, but uh, fervently, <laughs> because um. Uh, it's a it's a planet that's always had a, a little bit of a, a a weird dark history. Uh, 
some of the the nobles there have uh, the ruling family, though uh, you don't recognize this guy's surname. Um, uh, dabbled with uh, with dark science. You possibly recall this from all the books about dark science you have read recently. But also uh, with three successes, you're pretty sure Vajun is basically abandoned. It's deep in separatist territory now, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, if you recall, wasn't the the young heir to the you? You're pretty sure you remember the the heir to the ruling family got adopted by the Jedi Order. You think he's a Padawan right now? That's weird. Ah, uh, wait. But so... uh, yes, you have been asked to politely dance. Yes, I will. I will, you know, give give. Um, let him uh, take the lead. I suppose. Yep. He is a fairly adroit dancer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Light on his feet, knows what he's doing. I shift back and forth uh, as as you're there. He uh, he, you know, it's it's a it's a low low stakes dance, so he mm-hmm. makes some idle conversation. Mm-hmm. He says, uh, you know, traveling through the area, uh, exploring the outer rim. Uh, always uh, lovely to see the Jedi work. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Sorry, I was double checking something else, and I have to find my bullet point for this one yet. There it is. Uh, you know, um, mostly C service corps, but I understand you're a, you're a, to goodness Jedi Knight. You know, kind of a thing back and forth. Ask you a little bit about you know your your history in the order. Have you been on so hell of a long kind of a thing? Mm-hmm. You know, I'll engage in the idle banter. I'll give them, you know, the light details, you know. Uh... All right. He, he, you know, seems, seems, uh, politely interested. Um, Mm -hmm. do you go for, like, any, like, war stories? Like, what have you been doing on Soho Live? Or, you know, just the, the bare bones of, you know, all been stationed here since the war kind of a thing? No, I'll give I'll give, I'll give a little bit of flair. You know, I'll mention, you know, the interesting things. You know, death, death cults, death cults, and all that crazy stuff. He, he gives an, an appreciative quirk of his eyebrow. <laughs> uh, so you are quite an accomplished Jedi Knight lady. Uh, Marama will just respond with, "I've just done as much as I can, and not not anything more than that." Same thing he said uh, to anybody here. Yes. So should we all do that? Uh, I I myself travel around. I uh, I look for enclaves of uh, refugees and expatriates from my my homeland. We are we are quite impoverished these days. Quite impoverished. Oh. Eh, you don't know how impoverished she looks, though. Like like I said, his suit is a little outdated. Mm-hmm. You know, but he's he's got some some, uh, n- you know, nice jewelry on. Got kind of a not like a n- necklace, I wouldn't say, but some kind of like jeweled neck piece. Uh, got some heavy bracelets or bracers on under the sleeves of his suit, kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Or the handy. So, yeah. okay. So maybe not impoverished, but sorry, I'm just. But I. Do you have anything you wish to ask him while you take a couple dances, or are you you good with the polite back and forth? Uh, he says, looking up, he says, like, mm, sorry, the last time there was just a dude from who fucking knows nowhere that might have had some, some connections to, you know, ancient secrets. That guy might have tried to stab me in the back. Well, not exactly stab me. It's happened back. a lot. Yeah. So I'm a little suspicious. I'm just like, how do I probe? Uh, so I'd definitely like to probe his intentions here. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do that without just be like, you know, grabbing him by the face and telling and my and telling him, "Tell me your secrets." Swear to me. I was, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Tell me your secrets. I'm just trying to think of like how how you'd actually phrase as a question. Be like, well, the, the thing like, the thing is, is it's it's. Like? it's it's one of those things I have to make an innocuous enough of questions and engage his reaction accordingly, you know? It's kind of one of those things. Yeah, or it's like, I guess you can't just ask, so what's the band that you're doing? Or like, what's the last time you've been there? 
It's like It'd probably so. be charm or deception. Yeah, can I can I forego actually in role play and I would like to basically make a test of trying to discern his actual intentions without tipping him off? Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so I believe is charm just charm? Charm is cool, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's see. What's your? Uh, let's be let's be mysterious. Let's dump, let's let's do a vibe check on every per, uh, perception levels. You tell me what your what your charm roll would be. Oh, my charm roll would be. Yeah, uh, you do... would roll charm against him. So. Oh, interesting, interesting. So it'd be four reds. And no, no, no. What would you roll if you were rolling charm versus him? Oh, if I was rolling charm versus him. Yes. Uh, so it'd be four yellows. One blue. He would not have. He's not a native. Nope. This is not negotiation, so that doesn't apply. It's charm. And let me let me double check my. Things. I don't have actually a lot of social skills. I usually use gadget. Oh wait, that's right. Don't I? No, that removes black. Never mind. And I do. What the? No, he would not have any. He would not add any boost dice for cool. So. And I have expensive jewelry. I do believe. What is it actually? What does the expensive jewelry add? Because the synthesizer removes black, but the expensive jewelry I believe adds a blue. But I just gotta double check what it adds blue to. It just also makes me easier to remember. One second. I'm in the wrong search. Thanks. No. Bad. Bad. I hate the difference between the browser search and then the Google Docs search. Sometimes I forget. Yes, that one always kills me some days if it hasn't loaded properly. Yeah, I've had that happen to me every time I try to like look up. Oh, it's an advantage. Aspect. Never mind. It's a blue to remember me, though. So you would add a V. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because so... I think I'm gonna I'm going to privately roll what your check would be. All right, and then you had four uh, spits on this, right? Yes, I would uh, five, five four spits. So it would be four yellow, five fours, one blue, one advantage. Then whatever he rolls against you, uh, uh, force. Uh, am I safe in assuming that you would not spend dark pips on this, right? I would not. Let's see. D1, tell me the truth. Okay. All right. Things are happening. All right. So you're, you, you speak to him and you're, you're like, you know, you you ask him about, oh, what's you know, what's that like? You know, looking after refugees from Vision. You maybe uh, let let loose that you know a little bit more about the planet than he may have thought. Mm -hmm. You know, just to kind of loosen him up. And he and he kind of he seems a little a little uh, taken in with your your uh, honest effort there. Mm -hmm. He's, and, you know, uh, he he you know mentions he goes around looking for refugees and and other things. He does. Also, uh, let out a little bit that he, you know, when you, you prevaricate a little, uh, he does mention, well, I also do like to look for cultural artifacts sometimes as well. Uh, many, many things from my homeland have become scattered with my people as well. We attempt to recover artifacts. Uh, I, I do not think that there will be any pleasant ones. So we are merely moving through, but, uh, always keep an eye out. He kind of, kind of idly mentions, I do believe they keep a museum here. Some of your archaeological department is donated to, and, and kind of goes off on his way. Mm. So yeah, you you know, he does he does open up to you a little. Mm -hmm. Do we have any? No, most of our archaeological facts are I are believe are probably Gardner things. I don't think we have anything all the way from fucking Vision. I mean, no. I take that back. I have something probably from Vaju. I have the Diadem of Dominance. That's some weird, creepy fucking Sith artifact. Oh, no, here. that's uh, I found that in my notes. That's from Empress Teta. That's a deep core system. Oh, okay, okay. But that is Sith cult shit, so. Well, that's, in, that's in my office, so. Do I have any? Do we have any others? No, we have the masks. We have that. Like, I don't think we actually keep any, like, 
Well, you don't, you, I don't think you've done anything directly to the, because I haven't mentioned it before. It didn't yeah. exist before this adventure. Uh, the small museum attached. I think I mentioned it earlier. It's supposed to be mostly about colonial history, though you believe some some scholars have donated some stuff from their private collections to, like, increase the prestige, so you don't know. You feel like you would remember if somebody was like, yo, here's a Sith cult artifact in my backyard, but, yeah. Uh, we should probably put on. We'll put in an inquiry just to double check to see if there's anything from Vajin over there. That's that's that, that's something that's that's something to sit on. But uh, you do, as kind of your idle conversation, do uh, speak to him about a uh, a few things, and he does definitely like press you for a couple more uh, adventures. Um, and you do kind of catch yourself realizing that uh, you mentioned some people you haven't mentioned in a while. Like you, he actually talks about, you know, working with the Jedi. So you actually, you know, you talk about Wevu over there, obviously, but mm -hmm. you also mention, you know, kind of briefly in passing, it still stings a little, you know, you, you mention master Lago and you even mention, uh, you know, uh, before he was sent off to become a knight himself, you worked with Cavus here earlier, mm -hmm. you know, and you've worked with other Jedi kind of, you know, nods and then, you know, moves on mm -hmm. with the, after, after some, you know, polite goes for a, you know, polite bow. Mm hmm. Uh, very well, then. It has uh, been pleasant dancing with you, Lady Jedi. I will continue my rounds. <sighs> Cloaks were dramatic. Cloaks are cool. Yeah. Apes. Oh, actually, technically, he... His cloak is cool. He should... Uh, no, actually, that's not uncool. It's on charm and deception checks. His cloak is neat. That didn't matter. <laughs> He's wearing a nice cloak. It's It's really sick. Anyway, he's gone. Whew. Like a shot in the dark. So, let's see. What's our time? Oh, only an hour and a half. Okay. And we've got Loth for... I don't know. How much longer do you think you got to go before you got to set out Loth? Uh, two hours. Okay, okay. You got a couple hours. All right. Let's do a vignette or two still then. The Armaw's off doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of enjoying, mm -hmm. like, the flirty to, like, kind of just, like, introspective atmosphere of it. No flirty. Yeah. I only flirt with Europa. I was <laughs> uh, to... Oh, no, 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 no. There was, that was a, that was, that was danger questioning. That yes. was, like, Arma was, like, yo, dude, are you a problem? Like, That's like a month. Yeah, there, there, there was, there was, like, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> shadowed lighting and, and, you know, probably not sinister strings, but, like, you know, slightly dangerous strings in the background. It's you know, for some odd reason, that... for some odd reasons, my well, my uh, my uh, not my eyes, but my um, eye area is heavily shadowed for some odd reason. It it's yeah, I feel like it was like the lighting is in contrast to like the music in the background kind of thing. Uh, kind no, of no, thing. it would probably be like the band for some reason, like hard cuts to like you know soft numbers all of a sudden, as opposed to like jazzy tunes or something like that. You know, it, it like was the, the much... music just takes on a slightly like minor key tone for like five seconds, and then you go it's about your business. Much, it, it was very much like a the conversation, like the later part of the Conte Monte Cristo story. <laughs> kind of All time. right, but let's let's pull let's pull the the webs and the and the boots into a vignette again. Um, you guys are down by the bar, you know. You're enjoying your spicy snacks, your popcorn shrimp, your grilled sea cucumber, in little tiny rolls. Um, and uh, you guys notice there's a little bit of consternation. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, Boots probably is, you know, getting another uh, fill in. And, you know, you, uh, if you don't mind me piloting a little, I, I imagine Boots probably says something like, you know, hey, bartender, what's all that fuss about? Yep. Uh, and he, then he kind of leans in and says, well, brother, there's a guy down there. And he points out a guy to you. He's in a, he's in a bad mood and he, just keeps packing away the drinks. People are a little, a little nervous. They're getting a little spookled. You'll notice nobody's sitting next to him. Not even your large otter lady friend. And, you know, you glance down the bar, and in fact, there is a man cloaked all in black. in a black coat, black gloves, and shiny black boots. And he has a wide-brimmed black hat, which shadows the upper half of his face. Oh, no, it's the LARP. And long, right? pointy black collars, which... Shadow the lower half of his face. So really, you can't see his face from here at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see him just, you know, just dropping another 
uh, another uh, bottle of beer. He, you know, taps it on the counter, singles to the bartender, another. And the bartender kind of like nervously looks at you. He kind of tugs on his collar a little and kind of saunters back over there, hands the guy another bottle. The guy just does the thing where he pops the top off on the edge of the on the edge of the bar and just drink. Okay. And Wevu, obviously, you are close by, so you observe this. Yeah, I think. Uh, what would I do? Um, well, I, don't I think do. I think oh. Wevu's gonna stand up and then get over and like move over to the seat next to the guy. All right. He kind of he kind of gives you a a inquisitive stare, a piercing stare with his one cybernetic eye. <laughs> so, uh, but he kind of he he, it's a little possibly a little rude, but he gives you the straight up like up down once over, stares in your face a little bit, and then just goes back to his drink. Huh. Didn't say anything. Okay, so uh, Wevu, now that you're this close, you can realize that um, under his you know dark clothing uh he does appear to be wearing some light body armor which is not technically against the rules it's just a huge faux pas <gasps> okay okay so i'm just really like you uh, <sighs> all right words 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 um like how uncouth like what has brought you to uh drinking so much kind of pause long pause looks over at you <laughs> mm. he just reaches into a pocket pulls out a pulls out a little card uh it's a bounty hunters guild id it says lol strag on it yeah. Yeah. you have uh underworld right yeah all right uh you wouldn't you have heard of this man He's a he's a uh, bounty hunter uh, from operating in nearby sectors. Uh, he's called Lalstrag. He's sometimes called the Black Ballista. You uh, know that he uh, has cybernetic enhancements, and he never lets a man get away. And tucks away his ID after he shows it to you. I'm working, he says. Huh. How did it work to get a guy into a fucking ritzy gala? I mean, he's a he's he's from the Bounty Hunters Guild. They're bigger than the Soho Live Gala. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you weren't invited, you could just be like, "Excuse me, pardon me, Jedi coming through." True. Yeah, Bounty Hunters can just get about in anywhere. I didn't know there was like a whole actual. So it was like, just like no, yeah, no. There's a Bounty Hunter. There's straight up. There's a Bounty Hunters Guild. It's kind of a big deal. That makes sense considering how there's so many Bounty Hunters. All right, Star so Wars. job here. Okay, uh, what do I say? <laughs> I love this. Boots is like, whoop, not getting in this event yet. Okay, so I'm just going to be like, uh, job, huh? So, uh, Gurn causing issues here with who, with what your job is. <laughs> or can you just take this, carry this on the down low? I'll take care of it when I take care of it. Kind of, kind of flexes back, looking for a guy. You seen him? He pulls out a little, uh, little, little hologram. It looks like a guy. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't. Technically, I don't know if this falls under knowledge underworld. Uh, do you have any streetwise webu? No streetwise. <laughs> okay. You could roll a hard cunning check then to see if you do recognize this guy. <laughs> fuck. I was honestly worried when you he said he's here hunting someone. He pulls out a holo pad. It's just tubes of clon. I was like, no, please. No, no. no. We've already know. gotten the tubes of clon joke out of the way. Yeah. Hmm. You know just you to want to. My, just to give myself at least one yell. It is kind of important. Okay, Okay, this is your... Nope. You have no fucking clue. Yeah, I just... Well, just try to, like... Got no idea who that is. Tucks it away. His name's Ian Lumbo. I will spell that... 
enjoy it. Enjoy this treat I give you. <laughs> Lumboy. 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 Such a blessing. Such a blessing. Okay, so I got to leave the first name, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ian with an E. He's a dirty anarchist publisher writing anti-republic journalism. And his time has come. The bounty is... Hey, hold on, I gotta chart for this. Because, you know, there's a whole book for the bounty hunter career in yeah. Enter the Empire, so naturally there's a table for this shit. Yeah, yeah I know they so also weird. have those uh, titles and what that they can get from their jobs. I, I can totally see, like, a campaign about just being a group of bounty hunters, like, like hunting down, like... I'm, and on, honestly, if stuff. you're playing, like, proper Edge of the Empire, which we've kind of done a couple of times, halfway, uh... It's you usually just bounce from place to place doing odd jobs. Yeah, so yeah, like a bounty or two, like once a planet kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, you you it's 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 much more traditional player character type stuff. You roll up to a new planet, you kick down the door to the cantina, and you're like, "Hello, does anybody need me to smuggle something, bounty hunt something, fix something, or whatever?" And then occasionally, like weird... obligation knocks on your door and is like. You know, Jabba the Hutt calls up and is like, Han, my boy, give me 50 credits or I'll eat your shorts. <laughs> it's like, Jabba, any... You can't have my shorts today. <laughs> is, there any, like, is there like any like ancient booby trap Rubens in the distance somewhere kind of thing? It's true, because you can be an archaeologist too. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of nonsense. No, do we not have the... the bounty hunting chart in here? Maybe it's more flexible. Oh, there it is. Okay, bounty hunting. Typical bounties and modifiers. Minor target. The empire is a weirdly, oh, very open-ended, and how kind of you can have a lot of fun with that. Well, that's what happens when you're in a you know a giant dystopia galaxy. Yeah, when you're in a. You get to flip that theme back. Oh yeah, you failed. We you need those. Back. Good, good point. We need those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he says, when he's about, uh. One one thousand credits dead, two thousand credits alive. Hmm. All right. Well, if I see this guy, I'll tell you. Thank you kindly. Tips his hat to you, and has a sip. No, <laughs> no, no. It's there's, it's not milady. It's ma'am. True. 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 <laughs> Yeah, but I'm sorry. He sets, down the, he sets down the bottle of beer and once again signals. Uh, with his signaling hand, you kind of hear the. <laughs> He's got a robot hand. <laughs> Perhaps all his robotic parts means that he is not as drunk as he seems. <laughs> he kind of he kind of takes a sip and says, "Got a tip. He's gonna crash the party, but I haven't seen him all night, so I'm just." Hmm. When he shows his ugly little weasley face, I'll. Loud huh. Strag always gets his man. <sighs> and did this. Uh, to tell you how he's going to crash the party? No, just that there's no way, uh, no good, lily livered, black eyed. Anti government scrub lord <laughs> like Ian Lumboy could resist. I, I a wasn't half full expecting of Republic government. I was half expecting like all five right. more minutes of just adjective words. Oh, for well, I would love to just run through all the quotes in the fucking pirate trash talking mini game from Sly 3, but no. But no, um, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, if I have a suggestion, uh, you might want to ask him what um, Ian's previous um, crimes or methods were. Okay. And if it's okay if you maybe share this information around with security. All right. I'll just first. All right. So. All right. Play. We have no interest uh, in the bounty, but okay. we do have an interest in, you know, making sure shit doesn't get fucked. Yeah, no. All right. So. Uh, I'll just say. Uh, all right. All right, mister. Uh... Lyle Strad. 
Yeah. It's false. Wow. <laughs> Two G's in Strag. Strag. Uh, uh, on your previous Jaws, what methods have you used? Well, they made me leave my pistol outside, so it'll be the whip cord. These hands. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. You're supposed to ask the target's methods, not his methods. Crunchy hands. Don't worry. He is the target. For I'm saying this in the, in the, in the ear com. <laughs> yes. Armand just chimes into the ear, bud. No, oh, I meant the other guy. <laughs> okay. And what are the. What is Ian's methods? Pamphlets. Lurid, brightly colored, unreadable trash pamphlets. <laughs> you may giant. think you've seen shitty pamphlets <laughs> advertised in strip clubs on the lower levels of Coruscant. <laughs> you may think you've written a crappy pamphlet about buying clone bonds. This is a thousand times worse than this. Also, the quality stock of his paper is awful. He holds up a hand. I lost a finger to a paper cut. Jesus. <laughs> that was a joke. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just gets joins in the laugh. Lal Strag always gets his man. All right. To be honest, I don't know what he's doing attacking. But there's a senator here, so he's going to do something. Since that's what the intel of the guild he says. All right. So other... I don't know. Maybe he'll try and bore the senator to death with his insipid, pointless, anarchist speeches. Like maggots dropping from his ugly, thin mouth. All right. <laughs> I got a. Uh... Been following him for six months. All right, so I got two. I guess two more questions. Uh I got nothing but time, lady. Okay, so first off, another one. Where? Oh. He's, as you said, he's been writing anti-republic writings, and he's a radical and where? anarchist. What uh, is he a part of? Some uh, no paper self-published. Okay. Oh, no. Other question. It will be alright if I make sure Security knows about this guy. Kind of pause and says, "Well, the tip came from the senator's security team, so." Sure, they probably know, but I don't want no claim jumpers, lady. All right. Remember, Lalstrag always his man. <laughs> he gestures at himself with a thumb as he's drinking. Oh, it's got to be. I think I think he's called for like three or four more beers during this conversation. <laughs> All right. I'll I, I mean, like two of them are half finished. He better. He better hope he has a. You better hope he has a cybernetic stomach, or he is smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Or this is what he's like when he's drunk. All right. Okay. You don't get to be a journeyman in the Bounty Hunters Guild by collecting bottle caps. He shuffles some bottle caps and throws them in a pocket. Coincidentally, while I'm bored, I also collect bottle caps. <laughs> Man. Sip, and I'm very bored tonight. This is a mix between like a comedy bit and then like... I think a very engaging, like, KOTOR quest line or something. All right. Uh, or, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just cl cl clearly the idea here is that the, the dialogue writer and then the NPC designers came up with something really funny and probably got, like, you know, uh, so some voice actor you recognize, like Travis Willingham or Matt Mercer, to come in for, like, five seconds as, for, like, you know, a dollar and a beer, and then you're just fascinated. They kept giving it more dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Ford, huh? Play any 
Yeah, I'll just look at the bartender. Hey, bartender, have any games here? <laughs> the bartender kind of shrugs. I think I heard some uh, gentlemen and ladies speaking about some sabak in the side rooms. I'll just uh, look back at the guy and just like... Laustrag only plays Sabak after he's got it. All right. <laughs> he flicks out a couple of Sabak cards. It's the, it's the you know. Uh, it's it's probably the Idiot's Array, whatever the equivalent of the Dead Man's Hand is. Okay. So, how poignant. <laughs> All right. Right. Hmm. Don't think... I'll say I care, I don't think I have much else to say to this guy. Uh, that's, fine. that's fine. So I'll just be like, excuse my... The bartender stuff. does kind of look at you a little, like, slightly concerned, like, holy shit, can you get this guy to stop? And no. No. <laughs> just no. Like, just like... <laughs> Wait. Uh, keep going. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm just like, look at the bartender once. It's like... <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> It's like, okay. I'll just lay down 50 credits down for the bartender. It's just like, uh. This bartender's killing it in tips tonight. <laughs> the bartender, Probably needs with it. a resigned sigh, takes your money and pockets it. Uh, he hands uh, both you and the gentleman another beer, and, and he does ask, Sir, would you prefer something uh, stronger? And he's like, no, not until I've tasted the wine of victory. <laughs> we have that Keep in the there. Trinocean Ale's coming. Okay. Pop, we, we do have victory. Stuff. We do have victory okay. wine back, sir. By so the way, now... so Trinocean Ale is canonical because that's, uh, I don't remember what kind of beer it is, but it's in the Disney park. Um, but I'm imagining a bottle with like a smiling Trandoshan giving a thumbs up on the, on the side and he's holding a bottle in the other. Okay, yeah. so I'll just... I guess I'll politely excuse myself now and just be like, uh, pleasant. Drinking? <laughs> Waiting? Because... Brooding. Happy Brooding. hunting, Brooding. come on. <laughs> Happy hunting, no, guys, come no, on. No. Happy hunting. I refuse to play into the cliches. Do. <laughs> yeah, happy hunting. Okay. I'll just go and find the uh, Arama. <laughs> Right. Arma has just had a slightly weird dance with a guy who was very fancy, a fancy lad. Boots Whatever continues to drink. Camo works his way down his dance card. Every time you turn away, there's like four more people to dance. You think, you swear some of these people are coming back for seconds. Guess I'm good at this. <laughs> so, uh, all right, Jedi powwow. Okay, it's just like... Well, it was just going to be like straight up ass, like, well, it's quiet. I was just like, oh, God, bounty under there says some guy named Ian Lumboy is going to uh, crash this party. Well, we've already had one, two crashes. Sure, let's go for our hat trick. Why the heck not? Also, are we sure we don't have any other bounty hunters here? I'm. Um... Well, you've got a, a Wookiee with a, a a heavy repeating blaster in one corner, and you've got uh, you know a, a guy in a hazmat suit dual wielding shock prop. No, <laughs> no, it's not Empire Strikes Back at your gala ball. <laughs> no, that kind of thing. Okay, but... yeah. <laughs> No. Oh wait. Right. Right. Never mind. Well, it's like, well, give me the lowdown on this guy. Did you find out his methods and madness? Uh, oh, give me. Does not have any weapons? He's going to use a whip cord. No. No. Uh, the problem. <laughs> oh, the problem guy. The problem guy. <laughs> oh, this is better. That was the callback just then. <laughs> no, the problem guy. Well, uh, as the guy said, um. He hands out awfully colored pamphlets and probably talks people to death. Ah, uh, the activist type. Lovely. Very anti The centralized government is wrong. The planets should govern themselves. 
Can't you he hear the, cl- just... the planet crying out in pain? No. You were the other guy. guy. No, that's so a terrorist different... level. <laughs> this, this, this guy's like... The Senate is just a patsy for the central bank, so the central banks are just a patsy for the deep state. It's a circular patsy situation. Yes, that's how politics work. The The clone wars are fake. Uh... 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 Actual clone who was actually fought? No, sir. No, 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 no. Um... In the greater context, yes. That's that's when a dude in a dark cloak teleports behind him and says, do it. And he falls over. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, I mean, and it then... they're just it's also a conspiracy not... by Big Cloner. Big yeah. Cloner. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Fuck and right. one final point. <laughs> He's just on his own self-publishing. And, uh... A dirty self-publisher. <laughs> so why you, no. Why you talk to that guy anyway. Uh, he was drinking a lot. <laughs> You notice as you look over by the bar that there's at least, like, six stools on either side of him. And there's as many beer bottles in front of him. And he seemed like the... Seemed like he might have been an issue. He takes out a monogrammed black handkerchief with uh, gilt gold letters that say BB on it. And, you know, mops at his brow a little and puts it away. But yeah, yeah no, no, we have a bounty hunter. Try to make sure no one else goes for his guy. If we oh. can help it. If if he, the guy doesn't do anything to the target doesn't do anything too crazy to get in. Well, I'm not gonna lie, Webber. That guy gives off serious brooding energy. It's gonna be hard for the people to approach the bar if he's sitting right down in the middle. Right, so... You say as Boots walks up next to him and sits down. <laughs> Boots doesn't count as a person. <laughs> I'm real! Boots gets gets the same up-down that uh that Webu did, but this up-down goes by a lot faster because he instantly looks in your face and he's like, ah, clone. Got it. Yeah. Wait, here we go. Anyway, no. Howdy. Figured, since you seem to be putting them all away, probably have either a good reason or some stories to tell. Name's Lull Strag. Oh, here we go again. Bounty Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for my target, Ian Lumboy. He's a no good. He just runs through the dialogue tree again. <laughs> yeah. He runs. He gives you the entire red text speech it's, again. It's, it's you're talking to the NPC again. It just happens word for word. Welcome to Cornaria. I, <laughs> anyway. I mean it's it's at this point i think it's like the joshua graham animation but instead of guns it's just he gets a bottle of beer he pops the cap off on the bar he drinks it he sets it with the others like whenever bit boots gets done just ask him politely to move to either end of the bar all right that or way you he... can ask boots to ask that <laughs> oh to be like Tap the earbud thing. He's like, "Hey, boots, when you're done talking to this guy, just ask him to sit at the far end of the bar." Yeah, the dialogue's great. You know, somebody heard it already. (laughs) Uh, noted. I can try, but no, he seems all right. I mean, considering how many of us here have are quite weird, meh. Well, it's not it's such a matter of being weird as he's being too weird, and he's he's creating a bubble of weird for normal people. He's causing a quiet ruckus. <laughs> Why do you think I'm sitting next to him? Yeah, now the weird bubble just got bigger. <laughs> <sighs> Switch <laughs> off. I'm going to remember this whenever with something happens. <laughs> and Boots is going to be like, no, Boots turned it off. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I shall recall. All right, Boots just lets his lets his earbud go out and go, goes to drinking. All right, do you guys actually want to, like, try and scooch him around or? No. Mm. All right, like, we asked Boots. If Boots wants to continue to be, you know, the bitch baby, he can. <laughs> <laughs> 
Arama disapproves, minus 10. You have to buy her a very shiny gold mirror to get that affection points back. Oh, no, not that mirror. <laughs> Did I break it? Out of, out of, like, out of internal struggle. But all right. Oh, no, you, like, that's, gonna go, that's not going to look on your salary review. <laughs> No, this is not technically on ours. He does his performance review does not get affected by this shit right now. Oh, I, I was making a attorney joke actually. My bad. Ah. ah, yes, my salary review. As I have, I think a lot more money than Arma at the moment. Hey, well, that's because Arma doesn't get paid. <laughs> She's a space monk. In case you couldn't tell by the you know punching of people. And I'm also, still sitting on four. I invest my money in infrastructure. I'm still sitting here on forty-eight. K credits. That's like twice what I got. Because yep. I do things like buy vehicles and stuff. And all that good stuff. And modify vehicles. Mm -hmm. No, don't tell me to buy stuff. I'm having a net worth. I need to accumulate. <laughs> what are you going to do with that net worth? He's going to reinvest. <laughs> I'm reinvesting in myself. He's going to buy stock and blast tech. Oh, Straight to wait. the moon, baby. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. he, um, so you guys he did hear that there the may be the some uh, you heard that there may be some uh, some backroom sabak mm -hmm. some street sabak as they say uh, or you guys can continue to mail about your business mm -hmm. I will spend some time uh, quietly speaking with Europa about the latest finds and you know updates and stuff I'll appraise her of like things that happened on desert planner of fucking kaiju yeah and whatnot. Now, is this like, you know, a clinical description of a giant fucking sand dragon? Or is this like, to bring up Dragon H2 again, is this like a Varric, I shit you not story? Mm. I kind of want to, I, 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 I kind of want to, I don't want to necessarily say I'm going to embellish it, but I do want to give it dramatic flair. All right. Okay. You point out some stuff. You know, uh, we'll talk about like you know, the the sandstorm, the kaiju, the bandits, the giant fucking dragon. I will kind of omit that I decided to jump down its throat for reasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just punched you it. it to leave. Yeah, I just like punched you it. Do. And then you punched it, and told it to go away. You booped its snoot. Talk about the temple. She's probably very interested in the temple and some of the, the things. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Go through. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume we're also not telling her about the Hotline Miami moment. Yes, we will also pass on that. Uh, well, since you're talking about fines and stuff, I feel like uh, it makes sense for you guys to be maybe down by that museum way. Uh, roll me a average vigilance check, Arama. Um, if the rest of you are being vigilant, which I don't know if you are, you can roll yeah. hard vigilance checks. Yeah. Because you're farther our... away. What is our... what is this? I Too late am right not... now. Too late. Mm. And once again, we ask the question, what's your paranoia level? Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Right. It's like it's like the price is right. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> paranoid. Like, I'm somewhat dude, paranoid. There's this dude who's all like, oh yes, I'm looking out for... Um, artifacts from my homeland. Um, by the way, my homeland is um, full of evil self alchemy, by the way. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and also, has uh, acid rain now. It kind of sucks. So, like, I'm going to use... Acid rain. I'm going to use Adderley to do that, which is quick fix, which means I'm going to replace for vigilance. You can only do that once per session. I want to point yeah. out, but you still want to go for it? Yes, because I want to see the being as I'm doing it while dancing and stuff. So, like, I think it's... All right, okay, all right. Okay. Oh, because I barely ever use it anyway. Do I... Put those light pips into range for success, even. Wow. Let's, uh, let's see. I feel like I'm about to lose affection points at Europa here. I think it paid off. Uh, so, success is details, and then advantages like advantage, yeah, advantages like environmental stuff. Okay. okay. All right. Um,. There's the Boots crow. Is not vigilant. Carl, Carl, motherfucker. First time I ever God heard it. Fucking damn it. <laughs> it's still I've going. Never, I've never <laughs> yes. heard it before. It's fine. It's whatever. He's speaking to you. Uh, so, did you roll an X? 
yeah, it, it is. Okay. Yes, as the so night falls, the crows, the crows come and to lay upon the fucking house or the or the fucking um, ancestral building. All right. Uh, so you guys are milling about, and you guys kind of um, hear some kind of like, uh, uh, like some some thumps, like some heavy footsteps, some shuffling. Uh, see a door swing out the corner of your mind into the the abridging hallway to the uh, the museum. Uh, with your advantage, Wevu, you also spot that you are right next to a side hallway. You could very easily, without directly following behind that doorway that you saw, like, just open and close, you could pop out and go around easily. Yeah. Uh, Arama, you are briefly distracted by, um, you know, hearing the, like, unclicking of a latch to, like, go out into the hallway and some people shuffling around and maybe some snippets of conversation before the door shuts about, like, come on. Before anybody sees us. Man, this isn't a good plan, man. Shut up. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, uh, I don't know about affection points, but definitely I think, uh, why, don't you, why don't you take three strain as then, you know, you are brought back around, your focus is brought back around with like, Arma, are you listening to me? <gasps> kind of head tilted. All right. I mean, I know that Crates full of colored sand are not usually interesting, but we were discussing the artistic act. That's like All right. um, you uh, you you see with your three sixty degree uh, force vision, Wevo slip out a side door behind you. Does she look like uh, she might be investigating? Well, she just says checking. Oh, she says checking. Okay. Well, if I... we were fairly close together, right? Uh, you were a little bit farther apart from from Wevu and Camo, but Wevu kind of like slips out a side door, and she's gonna loop around really fast. I um, I will I, believe I, that she is checking out the matter than I am, and I will divert my attention back to Europa. Okay, and it's like um, and you know, just make some apologies and make some apologies and say um, thought I heard something. Thought I heard something. Hey, like, I I I space through. I apologize. So um, I'll. Yep. Probably just follow up on Webu if they need if she needs anything, but otherwise it's kind of, kind of not. Oh, uh, thank you. You heard as well. You heard some like shuffling yeah, yeah. and saw some doors. Uh, I think open. also oh. do the whole earbud things like uh, camera come along. All right, I guess we'll like he'll in his current. All right, dance, you so. you politely break off a dance, so you know duty calls. <laughs> oh, this is an opportunity. <laughs> I'm going to become shadow. Up. He becomes the shadow. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys stalk down a side hallway. Can't hear hardly any of the party. Um, you guys head towards the museum where you hear the sound. You hear scraping, scooching, jangling of keys, tools, whatever. We have to deal with another robbery right now. I'm going to need a drink. Come on, hurry up. Can't find the red key, man. Shut up. This does not sound like a high stakes. Uh, <laughs> nice. This just feels like they're just they trying to get something jingle. quick and go. <laughs> you guys are, are you being stealthy? Yes. All right, right. roll me an average corner. stealth check. Both of you, sneak them. So, yeah, okay, not you, yeah. I don't have any years. What's that actually being a little quiet? I need to calculate what it would be without the camouflage. So give me a moment. Yeah, it would be minus some upgrades. Yeah. So, wow. You should also roll really well because Webu has not rolled well. <laughs> there. Not just one. I think that works. Okay. Uh, you've rolled even well enough. Whether you take a strain because you're not having a good time sneaking through corridors, but uh, Camo manages to like kind of take the lead and kind of like before you like bark your shins on a bench or like trot into a potted plane is kind of like, hold up, don't do that. Be cool. <laughs> Um, you guys kind of shuffle closer. Camo, you're you're not distracted as much as Webu is by trying not to like accidentally step on the furniture or you know trip through the velvet ropes or something. Um, and you actually overhear a little bit of conversation ahead of you, and you're like, "Come on, we have to get in there." 
Hey, look at the display. I'm trying to find the key, man. Do you have the, the do you have the stuff? Of course I have the stuff. I don't leave anywhere without my my scanner equipment. The We're gonna prove my theory. It's it's our theory, man. Oh, Quiet, man. stop calling me man. It's, no, I think we should just it's, investigate. It's some damn college nerds on some sort of fucking cultural thesis bullshit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, so I, Okay, should I should I should need to give you some kind of Benny for that. <laughs> Okay, so you peek around the corner and you see a couple of uh, uh, college age people uh, in some some probably not the fanciest stuff. One of them is desperately cycling through a row of keys to like unlock the museum door. The other one has a data pad and has a uh, a jeweler's like eyeglass and appraiser's eye like jammed uh, her uh, eye as she's kind of like adjusting it, and you can kind of see them working. They do not notice you as all as he's like. Hey, but can we, can we found we it, man. Can we throw the point for that? No. Okay. It's not that good. Okay. But uh, <laughs> that was great. But uh, yeah. so I want Camo to like just kind of like quietly like tap on each other. I don't think you should be doing that. Okay. Uh, you go for the tap. Uh, do you want the one who's like crouching down, who's just got the right key in the lock, or do you want the one standing up, fiddling with uh, science? The one the lock. All right. You reach over, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> the keys go up. He's like, Kevin just grabs them. Haunted museum. <laughs> he like freaks out, spins three sixty, falls backwards through the doors, and is just laying on the floor in the dark museum. <laughs> the other one just, you know, uh, kicks his foot alone and says, "Quiet, you fool." <clears throat> yes, hello. How can I help you? Uh, she blinks. Oh. Uh, a lot with, uh, which is kind of weird through the jeweler's glass. Just, yeah. I know. Every, I know. Sure like, know. it seems like to be the best idea for everyone on this planet to show up to like rob or like break in when everyone's busy. But maybe hey, stop. Hey, hey, I didn't break in. No breaking happened. Okay. She kind of accusatorily puts a finger in your chest. Nothing has been no broken. <sighs> So. Hey, uh, excuse you. I have an invite. About him. Uh, so, somewhere, man. Somewhere. <laughs> oh, I, th I think I'm going to puke. Shh, you're not going to puke. You're fine. <laughs> think of it. Thesis paper. Thesis paper. Thesis <sighs> paper. Uh, oh. what, are you, what even oh, is your fine. thesis? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, the woman just shoves Camo out of the way. I feel like Camo, Camo like, looks at him and like, what? Oh, no, you, dumb, you stepped on the landmine. No. Rushes up to, to Weber and says, ah, you see, we are students. Uh, the, uh, we are, we are uh, students at the Edge of Campus at the Soul of Science Base. Oh, hey, you're the Jedi Otter lady. I remember you. Anyway. Uh, anyway. We're, we're breaking into uh, gemology. Oh. Crystalline structure studies. It's a very exciting field. You see, there's an artifact... Uh, that was donated to the museum by uh, by an archaeologist and a and a and a, and a geologist. Uh, it's called the Madiri Stone. 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 Shut up, man! She kicks the guy's foot. Don't echo me. But it's so cool when you say Madiri Stone. Stone. The 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 male the college the male college student is clearly a couple of a couple too many beers in. Uh, that already spoke something for to hmm. not be bothered, but no, no, uh, it is in my notes. They are the they are slightly buzzed. Uh, he is probably a little more buzzed. They got drunk enough to actually bother doing it. Okay, yes. It's like there's a display of gems in the museum. Don't give us any credit. So we're gonna go look at the gems, and I'm gonna take some uh, take some images and some rubbings and compare the crystalline structures because I have a theory that the naturally occurring barrel gemstones. You know, ocarines, emeralds, stuff like that, um, are exceptionally pure and contain minute hints of kyber. I believe this is related to the deeper influence of the gardeners on the geology of the planet. Hmm. And you. And you want to compare this to the p exceptional purity of the Madiri stone. Stone, stone. I told you to stop that. I'm Dude, my spine hurts. I guess I have way too much fun with this. 
Yes, and I'm, I appreciate it, but it's like I came up with characters like, what? Oh, why can't why can't this not happen today when I'm not a part of this? Oh, uh, huh. you know, you just put a hundred people and you gave them free drinks and you shook them up with a hostage crisis. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> that wasn't our fault, right? <laughs> okay. And you... Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go take my lab partner here, and she just takes a big step towards the museum. And you couldn't do this in the daytime of course not what part of you know proving our fringe theory didn't you get can you have asked this unprecedented scholarship nobody <laughs> believes our theory about the kyber amplification process and the the <laughs> gardener technology links do you know how long my thesis paper is i don't want to read it can that's you? okay i don't want to read your thesis paper either jarhead <laughs> You knuckle dragger. Then can you ask the uh, well, I want to go. I want to leave. The woman, the the woman crosses her brows at you, and it looks strong, like she's contemplating kicking you in the shin. <laughs> you know, unless you don't want me to stay and watch them for not breaking anything, I'm I might just go back. But were mm. we gonna break some stuff? Why is why you have me break the glass cutter? Shut up! We don't need oh, the right, glass I cutter. Guess I, have, I guess I have to stay. <laughs> The glass cutter was just in case. I'm okay. sure we can observe perfectly through the through the transparent steel. We can Julie's observe respectfully. <laughs> Take only pictures. Leave only footprints. Okay. Um, what about see. my spine print? Your spine is fine. <laughs> I'm just imaging, I'm just imaging okay. like Kevin yeah. and Webby just like thinking about to do like. Rock yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to the next bit after. I didn't like okay, well, we're doing like rock paper scissors. Like, who's gonna stay and just watch these guys not break anything? Yeah, well, I'm looking at camera and I was just like, I mean, well, while they're, te got... they're technically not breaking, while they're technically not bre breaking in, they are still not supposed to be, you know, be taking what's the word? I this, uh, this, it's I, I would like to point trespassing. out, this brain trust has not asked where this guy who is clearly a little drunk got those keys. Yeah. Just heads up. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I forgot like, that at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, uh, is this still where, a case of, like, he does. He is no longer in possession of the keys, so yeah, the chain of custody is lost. Okay, and they're so, lying on the floor where he dropped them when Camo made him jump about five okay. feet straight up. So I'm as looking back at the drunk guy and just like, you now where did you get these keys? Like, well, I got him. Kick to his foot. Uh, my uncle gave them to me. He owns this museum. Another kick to his foot. Ah. My uncle used to own the museum before he was cruelly fired for pursuing the truth of what? Science, man. The sciencey truth. Sweet magical uh, science. Uh, that was an here, but okay. You may like a suggestion. I would definitely try and push these kids to maybe go through some more legal routes to acquire the samples of the stones instead of you know, using a gala as a smoke screen okay. instead of this gorilla science shit. Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> so how about this? Yeah. How about you come back with us? I'll go ask our ma, hey. as in general, our ma. She's friends with some of the higher end scientists. She'll put a word in for you, and maybe you can do that on your own time, but not right now. So she kind of you know, uh, whips around, and grabs both everything. your hands in her hands. I take back everything I said, Jarhead. You're amazing. <laughs> You're a mensch. You're the great. <laughs> Introductions are great. Did you hear this? Maybe we can speak to Director Abad about this. Just, just go He's back. cool, just, man. Just go back. Just go back into the dance. Shut up. I'll, I'll close the door. Yeah. So stop <laughs> waggling your jaw flaps and get up off the floor. The floor's comfy, <laughs> man. We should all be on the floor no <laughs> you were just scared out of your life by this you know oddly yeah. quiet clone man <laughs> seriously aren't you are you wearing aren't you wearing dress shoes how are you so quiet use a practice <laughs> oh, practice? Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna she's basically gonna grab the poor guy by the foot and like drag him what? back I think what was going to just I think just lock the door and then just think what was going to turn around and just like contact Karma is like eh, well you probably never know what we just encountered a couple of college kids. What are college kids doing at a gala? 
Thesis Mokri. paper. You Mokri. hear it distantly being sing song down the corridor. Wait, hey. Webu? Webu. Yeah. Are they trying to basically get some sort of cultural artifact so they can prove some sort of weird thesis that no one's ever going to believe them? So they decide to take it into their own hands and have a completely horrible and stupid plan to do so? Why does it sound like you've experienced this before? Yes. <laughs> and Camo Camo sent, Jedi nerds. And Camo <laughs> sent them to she's, you. She's, in, she's dating one, kind of. Well, she does have two in lore, and she does have a fuck ton of studies on, you know... Something about the Midiri Stone. I only, I only half processed what they were saying. Something about, like, kyber crystals and centennial fluid. And comparing kyber you, you, uh, stuff you, to this. I, I feel like you guys pause to see if somebody's going to echo when you say Midiri Stone. <laughs> Boots has his, his earbud off, so he doesn't do it for you, though. No. He's unaware. He misses the joke. Minus 10,000 joke points. <laughs> <laughs> He's hard. He's a name. <laughs> so, oh, like, Arama will just be like, all right, I'm still in Europa. She probably might have a good way in on this, too. Send them over. <sighs> them the okay. send the them door away. behind you uh, explodes open. Well, it doesn't really explode. More like, kind of quickly slides. This, this girl's not that buff. Um, she is dragging. He still dra dragged the guy. Uh, uh, by his boot and kind of like shake, shakes his leg. Get up, get up, you idiot! I'm getting up, man. <laughs> Dusts off. Uh, she whirls around and says, "General, so good to speak to you. I was told I could discuss my thesis paper with you. Would you like me to elucidate uh, points A through D or E through G?" She's still wearing the jeweler's eye, by the way. <laughs> A to three and eight or less sentences. She pulls out her data pad, flicks some buttons. Gemstones, Kyber, Gardeners, Purity, Madiri Stone, Stone, Stone. Would you stop that? Wasting your word count here. <laughs> but, but, and, but Arma will she just, just she just, up, will just pulls up and she just holds up her data pad and show shows you crystal matrices. I'm not the best at them. But it seems like you are passionate, to say the least. And if I have known one thing, passionate is people used to usually do the stupidest things. So. I have been pursuing this line of research for, for four years. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. <laughs> so. I have survived entirely on powdered calf and spite for, for the intelligentsia. I, as I said. <laughs> so. In pursuit of keeping things things, what we are going to do is you are going to put in a request. What's the one? We've the... already put in so many requests. The queue is horrible. Put you the front of the queue to make it stop. Well, actually, what is the queue like for this? Where's the rec or? Let's see here. Actually, that is a good question. So I'm assuming like people are putting in requests to handle the Madiri Stone. Like you need that specifically, correct? Uh, well, basically, to, to recap, they were trying to get access to the case the stone is in because they wanted to compare it because it's an exceptionally pure example uh, from a jungle moon far from here. Uh, but it is also uh, it is also compared with exceptionally pure local crystals because the Midiri Spoon is supposed to be an exceptionally pure and large emerald, so they're comparing it to other Beryline crystals, okay. Aquarines, emeralds, Scarlet emeralds, etc. Um, mm. And basically, they have a theory to the exceptional purity that, like, the reason why the crystals are so pure is because they contain traces of kyber crystal, and this is to deliberate tampering by the gardeners for something to do with their energy transmission and conservation system. Now, which also, by the way, I would like to point out, you straight up know is true, because you guys have, you know... Actually, I was like, I feel like we should just call Crown and be like, Crown, give us info dump. Here, you don't need your fucking matrices anymore. Like, give us I feel like, no, actually, your robot probably say, Arama, wait, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. You know how we have the facility at the World Crown with the archives of the science, the science archives, yeah, you, the archives for science? For you just want to send them there? She just, you know, gently places a hand on both their shoulders and says, I could always use more research assistance. All right. This is an unpaid internship, by the way. Uh, Trust me, it's worth it. It's like, I do not, the, the, the guy goes, you don't need money to do science, man. You sweet, magical science. Uh, Armand so just kind of like, yeah, you do. Just, but she doesn't say that alone. Too much of this. 
quiet, you. You have a trust fund. What? Does your father own like 40 shares in Corley Engineering Corporation? It doesn't matter, man. I'm about the science, okay? I'm not about the money. All right. I don't well, do that corporate science. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Not today. Not today. Good. You, got... you stopped them from breaking into another petty argument. Yes. And it's like, this is what we'll do. We'll send you to a facility that is much more well-prepared to deal with your subject matter than it is here, and you'll have a lot more samples to go for. And one hell of a archive of information to pull from. But So it's true? You guys do have an intact gardener archive? Oh, joyous day! Kalu Kale! <laughs> I think I had too much wine. Yes, but... Matter the science is going to my head. Where's science located in the body? It's like, but... Dude, the head. Science is in the brain. Or is science in the heart? Quiet. Science is about to be in a prison if you guys don't be quiet. Blink, blink. Thank you. You can't jail science. Oh, yes, yes I can. can. <laughs> and I will. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and I will. But unfortunately, due to the fact that you have basically tried to... I wouldn't say theft, but still, you know, try to commit break and entering and go around such and things. You shall hey, have hey, to. Hey, whoa. No, no. Nothing was broken. No, Nothing was broken. No. We That's not how I this looked works. it up, okay? I it's... talked to a law student. We double checked all the bylaws. It is definitely not breaking and entering. It is at least unlawful Perfect. entry. Least. So bad. And that is what I have been told I would plead to. What are we pleading to? Quiet, you. You don't even have the keys anymore. They can't prove nothing. Keep your mouth shut. And keep your mouth shut. We'll get both through this. Get all right. Europa kind of leans over to you and is like, I feel like a work release study program would work best for these guys. Uh, probably. Uh, I can't deal with Put him next to the reporter and leave him there. <laughs> I so have a solution for this. Why? Hey, why don't we go talk to Director Avon about your internship? Okay, let's go. Thank you. Whoop. Director, my thesis. <laughs> All right, I would like I would like this to be fast forwarded because <laughs> yeah, 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 it's fine. Well, the the problem is you guys keep talking to them and they have more things to say. They never yeah, I know. It's just one of those things of like, just one of those things of like, you guys can't get off with this and go to someplace super fucking cool. You need to be punished somehow. Like, but unfortunately, fucking Omega study criminal justice and so he's just all like no this is actually how it was like let me just bamboozle they know. Them. let me just shoot no, them away they're too like smart dogs. for that they have they have they, <laughs> they're all int no other stats <laughs> only int remains they're annoying nerds <laughs> only like, int remains they're gonna go talk only. to wow wow bond he'll probably talk about some academic penalties and then they can get their <laughs> work study worked out Thank you. Uh, Not anyway, I, Camo, you said you locked the door, so I assume you're just going to scoop the keys off the ground. Yeah, I, I just put it back to be like, we'll just, we'll just put this away and just not think about it, because I don't yeah. want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> what do you want to do with the keys, though? Uh, I guess find out who these belong to. By, find the curator? Uh, I mean, they're not curator's keys. They're not just, like, museum key rings. It okay. looks like janitor's keys, maybe. Okay, just find the janitor's, I guess. So his uncle was clearly the janitor, right? Oh yeah, did we right, we did did we ship off the guys who put in the closet? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Every, okay. everybody got arrested, everybody going to jail. All right. <laughs> somebody going to hospital, somebody going to jail. And you're going to jail. And you're going to jail. I'm not going to jail, I'm going to study science in the cold north. Actually, no, what Europa probably does is she introduces them to, to Director Hubbard and says, Hey, I found some interns who want to do field work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. I don't have to do it myself now. <laughs> the great fieldwork crisis continues. <laughs> I fell in an ice crevasse, man. My spine. Your spine is fine. <laughs> I won't be surprised if one of our things is we have to go rescue these fucking students from the fucking north somewhere. <laughs> like no, cycle. you're going to have to rescue the dude. The, the, the female student will have clawed her way out of the ice crevasse with her own hands. She's, and she's so fucking like, I saw... I, I survived freshman courses. This is nothing. I've got plenty of student debt. This cannot stop me. <laughs> Can I even have student debt? I don't want to think about it. Anyway, let's just go find the person these keys belong to. Yeah, you return to the janitor and he's like, found my keys. Yeah, some annoying people had them. 
We can add petty thefts on top of that. I think I left them in the toilet. Did they just it's... randomly fucking find them and then decide to do this? God fucking damn it. I think they got, again, I think they got drunk enough to do it because they had the keys on hand. <laughs> Smash gets there earlier tonight and the guy's like, hey, I found these keys when I went to the refresher. <laughs> I know. Like, you like, see the keys? He says. <laughs> yeah, actually, it, like, actually, yeah, no, actually, I think there is like a legal precedent that the keys were just fucking left out somewhere that's actually not a heinous crime, if I remember correctly. Or yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, well, there's different. It. There, uh, the law is very nitpicky. Who could have known? So yeah. yes, there are usually different layers of like levels to the crime and the exact charges and the degrees based on like how you acquired things and what your motivation and means was. Like, if you pick up some keys and you're like, these don't belong to me, but, you know, you don't like, it's not like they thumped the janitor over the head and took his keys. Yeah. So there was no violence involved. Yeah. No, yeah. It was just a strange set of coincidences and maybe a little too much spite and maybe too much to drink. All right. We're going to move on, though. I'm going to, otherwise, yeah. I'm going to keep talking about this. Yeah. It, it, All righty. Yeah, uh, like, uh, well, like you've cool arrived thing. just in time uh, for the lovely special performance by. The Solar Shadow Cavaliers. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Oh. It's up. They finally bust out on stage. And they 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 come on out, you know. Hello, we are Solar Shadow Cavaliers. That's we are boys. here to rock you. One, two, three, four. Tonk, tonk, tonk. Play some, you know, get some some bass guitar in there. Doobly doo out there. Doobly doobly doo. They... <laughs> You know, they, they call in the, the house band to give them some backing with maybe some strings or some, some brass. They they play a nice full set. Give me get some ska in this shit. Shake some things up. Lots of acoustics. Minimal electrification. The Wookiee bassist uses his maximum power. Sorry, people in Let's Talk are busy figuring out that maintenance is tonight. Who could have known this guy? Anyway. Ooh, ooh, okay. We'll, we'll wrap up a bit because I'm running out of juice. I think a little a little sleepy. Okay. So, uh, the no big detail on the performance, obviously, but they come out. They play some songs. They got some singing. They got some guitars. They got some drums. Like I said, they call in the band a little, give them some strings or some brass. They play probably some popular, if a little outdated music from the past couple of years. You know, some stuff that drifted up from Core World. They play a couple of local folk songs. You know, there's lots of sway and lots of woo. At some point, you know, the lights go low and everybody pulls out their their comlink pads or data pads and waves their lights in the air. Well, they just don't care. Uh, at least, at least somebody uh, cries out, "Space bird! Space bird!" <laughs> They do not play Space Bird. They don't have enough time for that. That's like that's like a a, a twenty four hour song piece. Wait, what? And it requires you to like actually water? go to space. Oh, uh, yeah, Axe wouldn't get that. Uh, it's a joke about Free Bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, is that like a thirty minute song? No, it's no, it's, it's like ten minutes, but okay. it is long. It has a hell of an intro. Yeah, it's a. I mean, there's a reason why it's the finale song for Guitar Hero Two. You play the whole track, and then people, somebody shouts out, Free Bird. And then, you know, when the audience cries out Freebird, you got to decide whether or not you got the guts to play Freebird tonight. They don't have the time. They got to get off. The senator, the senator would not stand for this because he's up next. Let's hope so where explode. were you guys during the special performance, like stage-wise? Huh. This is uh, a dumb thing. Did Armando try to grab Camo when he get back? <laughs> no. Okay. And she's probably like, Stand around. You're gone for a little bit, getting easier. You're kind of moving on. Uh, you know, we like I said, they they're kind of like wrapping up dancing. Everybody's kind of putting aside getting some drinks, and we go for like special performance. Um, I I would like to recall everybody the uh the uh, the bar is at the back of the ballroom, and then the stage is at the front, obviously, mm -hmm. with a mezzanine above you. So Webu kind of migrates to the front. I will. Krilla is probably like, oh man, I love these guys. I think I'll abscond to the mezzanine. Oh, you want to pop up to the mezzanine? Um, 
you actually have a problem doing that. Uh, oh. You try to get up to the mezzanine, and uh, you find that the uh, the locks are, are on. Really? Uh, it's been sealed up. Yeah, the, the mezzanine has been in dark and not in use through the whole performance, but uh, they are straight up, like, locked down. Not just you're not using them, but they are blocked up. That's strange a little. Why is the mez not in use? Uh, you got the security things. You want to ask about it? Yeah. Uh, one of the, the marshals, uh, we'll say it's Partholomew. He's recovered from his stun sticking. He's like, oh, yeah, the senator's guys requested it. They felt like it would be uh, more secure if we, we locked up the upper angle. You know, it's just uh, it's just seating and standing room up there, you know? Mm. I guess we could have fit more people in, but, yeah. Mm. Why, is there some kind of problem up on the mezzanine, miss? Oh, no, I was just asking. Um, I wanted to head, it up, head up there and check it out. I was just a little surprised to see it secured uh, i think the governor's entourage has the security pass if you want to double check i'm sure you'll be able to reach those guys if you when he comes out for his speech in no oh, 10 minutes 15 minutes yeah thank you i think i'll do that something <laughs> all right uh the rest of you uh how are you handling the the performance Huh. Uh, Poots would just be where he was before, just minding his own business at the bar, hanging out with uh, Lawless if, if he hasn't left. Uh, no, though he does kind of, you know, when the when the performance comes in and people kind of mill around, he gets up and looks around a little. He stops building a pyramid. Pyramid. You know. Uh, the Solar Shadow Cavaliers are good at their job. They play to the cheap sheet. Cheap sheets did it again. They play to the cheap seats. <laughs> No, you can you can hear the 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 bass line all the way in the back camo. Then boots. Yeah, he's just probably like just taking it in, not really pushing it. Uh, you guys have heard their music plenty, you too, because you guys often go off duty down to the liquid sun. So, uh, they're playing uh, you know a, a greatest hit set today. Nothing new, but uh, stuff they've practiced a lot. Seems like as performance is gonna wind on down you know house lights will come back up after that you know they play the one the one soulful song round of applause punch 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 punch, punch, punch. there you know they are they are hustled off stage by the senator thank you thank you very much everybody thank you thank you aru i'm either foghorn leghorn or i'm futurama nixon i think nobody remembers what yes of course Mm, mm, mm. Come down, everyone. Come down. My speech has begun. A little joke to break the ice. So Senator Bocaro takes the takes the stage. Lights are up. You guys notice that the two Senate guards who are with him, you know, they kind of block off the sides of the stage with with an eye out front. They hope that nobody will bum rush the stage again. Camo's doing the thing most people don't, and looks up a few times just to. Okay. So you're mostly, what, doing tic-tac-toe? Like? Just like, like what are like those, like, the uh, hangovers? Uh, no, uh, like balcony stuff? Like, yeah, yeah, that's the mezzanine up there. Yeah. The mezzanine is that second level that only goes, like, like halfway out or something? Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of Basically, you're in, a, you're in a giant dome. The, uh... The 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 center of the the dome has been reworked into a ballroom, so it's a huge open space going straight up. But uh, like something like to a third or half of the room, there's a jut out. There's a balcony level which is sloped in, which is the mezzanine, uh, which is uh, it's been dark all night. It's dark up there. Uh, you can all see right. vaguely shadowy rows of seats back there. All right, just keep mind of it. All right, Enjoy so you, you you glance up a little as you as you listen to the speech. You kind of keep in your position, camo. Or are you gonna like move closer? Or are you gonna move farther away? Probably like to the side of the wall. So like if I right. something happens, you can just run to the door. Kind of chill like, in the background. All right. You see probably some other clones there. They don't much go for political speeches. Camo's at the bar drinking. Uh, Arma, oh, no. you know, you you did kind of your loop and your little mezzanine adventure came back to catch some of the music. So mm-hmm. uh, you notice the senator take the stage and he... <clears throat> 
I'll begin with a quote from my favorite historical senator. I have not written out the senator's speech, but so well, we're gonna go for vibes. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take out some tiny spectacles and put them on his little Rodian face. You know, his face is a little fat. He's a big boy. <clears throat> Let me begin by thanking all of you for coming and thanking all of you for your association. Thank you, everyone. I'm, I'm so glad that the donors made this event possible and the armed forces for keeping us safe. Good job, boys. Round of applause for the boys. Clap, clap, clap. clap. <laughs> Doing this, you know. Yeah, Webby's kind of kind of tucked in maybe a little closer to the... You staying close for the senator speech? Yeah. Okay. Arma, you 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 have some thoughts and feelings. Where whereabouts do you want to be heading right now? I feel Well, but you're closest you're closest to the senator, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I won't I won't go so far as to presume front row, but she said she was close to the stage, so Yeah, no. I I might be a little paranoid, but I want to be in a good position where I can see Oh man, actually, I don't think no. It's second story. I can't get an eye on the mezzanine, can I? Um... No, not completely. Uh, you know that camo is probably somewhere in like the middle of the room, against a wall, kind of looking at everybody. Boots is in the back, you know, kind of turned around to watch watch the senator. So he's got the long view of the room. Webby's up front. You could probably have a quiet word maybe with the Senate guys to see if they know where that security clearance went. Yeah, no. Get I'll, up on the mezzanine. Yeah, no. I do want to get up on the mezzanine. I will I will message the security guards, the, the, the Senate guards. And they're kind of like, hmm. Let's check. Uh, Didn't uh, the assistant Norpink have it last? Yes, the Senator gave him the pass to go get his data pad earlier. Uh, he's probably in the back then. Uh. Uh, do you want us to go fetch him, uh, uh, Madam Jedi? No, no, don't worry about yourself. I'll do it myself. All right. So I you will. are. This is this is the perfect thing. You're gonna go observe the speech from the backstage. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that because the other three PCs actually have the the far middle and short distance. I was like, I think the back is the the only place left left then. All right. So Let's you you scooch around into the into the back row. You know, you hear the senator's speech a little muffled. Uh, you you know you. <laughs> You you look through the immediate backstage and uh, nobody's standing here. You don't see the assistant. You know that there's some like green room like chambers behind though, as you might want to go poke through. So you'll you'll move on in there in a second. Uh, by now the senator's reminding everybody. And remember, in several months, I am up for re-election. So be sure to vote, Black Arrow, for a stronger, more independent soul live, stronger Rima sector. Now, I want to turn everyone's attention to the fact that uh, representation, democracy, is key to our society. I'm getting slightly English now. But demographics are important. So, uh, as, a, as a growing constituency, it is, of course, to my power to represent all of you. He continues in this boring way. Uh, mm -hmm. RMI, you pop up in the door to the green room. Nobody's here. Where you do not see the data pad. You don't see the security pass. I would like to move with a bit of urgency. All right. Where are you moving to? Um, shoot, I'm not necessarily the most stealth, but no, I'm getting, you know I'm just gonna keep like checking back rooms, I suppose. All right, I'll go to your pieces in case. Go ahead and roll me a hard perception check for a basically toss the place roll like i assume you're gonna be checking closets checking back rooms checking bathrooms like where the fuck is this guy where yeah. this guy go down ahead and this is not this is concerning <laughs> no because i already checked the mezzanine it was still sealed so unless he locked himself in mm. Jesus. Wait, what is our what is our destiny at i think you're still at two white i will i will spend one then You said this was hard? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Too All right. Threat Give me back that destiny. Ooh. You failed. You can cycle it back.
All right, you start checking rooms. You're cycling through. Uh, you are wholly focused on this that you do not hear the next bit of the senator's speech. Also, you do not find Norfolk. Oh, no. He is not in the in the back halls, it looks like. Um, so the senator continues on his spiel about democracy and demographics and constituency for like five minutes. It's incredibly dreary. Everybody is silent. Uh, but what gets them speaking is he finishes off with an announcement that uh, my office is planning to uh, authorize an election of a junior representative to the Senate office for Soho specifically. That's right, a special representative for this planet. Uh, well, I am pleased to be your representative for at least a few more months and hopefully a few more terms after. <laughs> uh, special uh, offices are required to bring forth your particular planetary needs as your planet grows more and more influential, economically independent, infrastructurally dependent, uh, properly democratized. Uh, these are, this will be a special election held shortly, so of course we will... Uh, be working with them directly. Uh, this position does not have voting power in the Senate, but they are an adjunct to my office specifically to let you know about your needs. Uh, Corian Devimov from the Colonial Office will be coordinating this special election. It'll be happening very soon. The war has got us uh, on the on the front foot. You must be aggressive, forward thinking. There's definitely some kind of. <laughs> So people people are talking back and forth. You, you guys actually in the ballroom catch that, but Arma is too focused on where the fuck is Norpink? Where's this guy? What's he doing? Where's he gone? Uh, where do you want to head to next? You have you have in in the five minutes it took to the senator to come to the first point in his speech. You have probably like speed ran every back room in this. You like directly in the backstage. Okay, so if he's not in the back, he's not in the ball. Could he actually be on the fucking mess? I well, think the, uh, you think the Senate guard said that he had the security pass last because he went into the back to get the senator's data pad. Um, I you will, don't remember. You don't remember if he gave it back or not. I will proceed post haste to to the mez again. Uh, All right. You know, doors are locked up. How are they locked? Uh, ooh. This building is historic. It is probably a mechanical lock. Deadbolt. They may have, like, added some extra electronic security in the past couple of years or something to secure the deadbolt, but it's a deadbolt. Sorry, you going to bend bars, lift gates? Yeah, I'm going to bend bars, lift gates. All right, make me a hard athletics check. Big no door jostle. can hold you. <laughs> Just jostle the lock enough with your full lift strength. Uh... By the way, I you guys haven't seen Aramai at all, and, and you may possibly be here on the, on the ear mic going, Where's this guy? Where'd he go? Um, like, are the rest of you doing or saying anything? Is the you know the senators already well, what's rattled the, off? Uh, what's the um? I think gloves is going hard. Hard. I think gloves going turned to his uh, and just like quite a speech to the ear, but it's like, uh, I will negate all uh, that threat with. Uh, all right, what was it? I'll spend all five uh, light side points and on advantage, so it will be two and two. All right. I don't know what are you doing. Is something wrong? New Dude. issue come up. It's like, no, I'm just... On the... It's like, hang on one second. And there's probably... <laughs> you guys hear the sound of steel warping as Arama just grabs the deadbolt knob and just, yoink! You, prob you probably hope you don't have to fix it. You don't have to pay for that, but... Eh. But, um... I can't find... You kind of you miss your crush gaunts. Yeah. That wouldn't have even have been a test. <laughs> But um, it's like, Armand just um, goes on. It's like, I'm just following up on something. Keep an eye on the senator. All right. We'll All do right. turns back to look at the senator. He is continuing his boring speech I will... about now he's moved on to the importance of unity and financial and fiscal brotherhood. Fiscal Financial brother. fraternity. We should all support one another in these trying times. Um, so Arma is scuttling up to the mezzanine. What are the rest of you guys doing? Why was looking at the senator? Yeah, for every looking at the senator, looking around, just keep an I'm... eye for anything. Uh, Head on the swivel. Suspicious. I'm looking around through the crowd to see if anyone's actually like walking around. I think most people are kind of staying stationary. More, yeah, uh... Uh, the crowd on the ballroom floor is basically 
dead still. Some of them like turned to talk to each other, especially after the announcement that they're going to elect a representative for Soho Live specifically. So yeah, like, there's yeah. there's definitely some conversation, but nobody is like leaving the room rapidly or entering the room rapidly or quiet or like softly shifting between chairs. Yeah, no, everybody's just kind of, kind of you know still waiting for this guy to you know get to the fucking point, or if he's got a, or if he's got another point that's not just give campaign money, money give. Campaign I am once good. again asking for your financial support. Senator good. Separatists bad. Bad separatists. How dare they? <laughs> when I was a boy, we didn't have separatists. It's like, shit. We just had the Trade Federation. Blocking we had two move, sticks. Them Jedi bunkled them good. Bunkled their dirty little Lemoidian kneecaps. I've just... Lemoidians have kneecaps. I've, I've just... Okay, if the glove does not quit, it does not fit. You must quit. Share the rocks. I'm just reminded of the the Monty Python sketch. I don't remember that one from, but uh... you had a. Oh, you were lucky. We had to go down to the work to the factory twenty four hours a day for our tuffins, and factory driver would start at the mill. Fa mill owner would swear at us, and then we'd all. All go back to the lake, and our father would drown us in it. Right, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I think um, I'm spacing this out. Yeah, yeah. Out of you're just right you're just zoning around. Uh, Boots, are you doing anything in particular? Well, Boots ain't part of this conversation, uh, so he's on his own. Oh yeah, yeah actually, I, I, I mean, <laughs> your mic your mic was off, but yeah. you did switch circumstance, so I don't know if you would have turned it back on or. Not. Mm, boring speech. Actually, I'd rather listen to what these guys are saying than this speech. That makes sense. You probably catch some tail end of this conversation as I was like, hold on a second. Crank. But, I'm uh, guessing I you... missed quite a bit. Look who's decided to join us. <laughs> Arma yeah. says as she takes the stairs two at a time. <laughs> uh, Wevu, Camo, you guys give me hard perception checks. All right. Okay. Hard perception. Yay. I'm literally just picturing what happens when a hero shows up in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the old version. It's like, and... Master Yoda has shown up. And then the, and then the soundtrack pa, changes. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, uh, how to divide this? Okay. I were like full on like this purples. Yeah. All right. You guys have some advantage and stuff. Yeah. All right. Um. You guys are looking around. You both succeed. You both catch it out of the corner of your eye. Scope. Scope of the balcony. Huh. Uh, camo. You re you recognize the glimpse of a telescopic sight anywhere? Yeah. General scope balcony. Go. <laughs> Arba, there's a sniper in your mezzanine. <laughs> um, well, I'm going. Well, I, f I, w I would. I would like to say I would not have stopped at the door and would have kept pushing in. So, at what point am I at? When? Uh, all right. So you're probably taking the top of the stairs. Uh, Camo just is like, you know, scope of the balcony. Wevu, what's your response to this? Okay. Uh, well, of course she's yeah knows that she'll just be like. Looking at the center's guard to see if they've actually noticed the scope at all. And if they haven't, then she's going to be poised straight to move if... No, they they're, they're scanning just... the crowd. They're they're <laughs> worried about another incident like earlier tonight where some dude just walked up on stage. From... Hello. Okay, so can I... Hmm. Let's see, I'll just try to do a... Oh, if they can see me, I'll try to do a hand signal just like above... <laughs> Kind of look at you a little confused. They start like scanning up above. They seem to pick up anything immediately. Uh, Arma, you crash through the door. You are on the mezzanine. Mm -hmm. uh, where? Because it's circular. Where would you have got, or at least semicircular? Where? Where were you planning to come up? Like, were you like directly opposite the main stage? Oh uh, yeah. All right. Uh, you don't need to roll anything because you've got magic eyes. You see a shadowy figure crouched behind a rifle, dead centered at the senator. Uh, what's the distance? Oh, it's probably got to be like medium. You're at the top of the, the, the balconies. They're way down in the rows. All right. 
just going to go for the Hydokin. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. Let's roll initiative. Let's see if you can go faster than the sniper. Uh, the rest of you should probably roll initiative, too. Okay, yeah. Just in case. Okay. Arbok, use my, uh, use my slot. Yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, cool. And I don't think you can just get the drop for this, so it doesn't matter. Because it's not yeah. really like an ambush. It's more of like it. Oh, okay. Well, you are not getting the drop, so no, I don't think yeah. you can justify that. It's a party wide thing, but yeah. Yeah, but remember, it has to be you have to describe how you're <laughs> going to get the drop on them. No, that's and, and this is stealth, this is which cool, you are not right? really doing. Uh, could be cool, or it could be vigilance. You don't know what the fuck's going on. I think because Bruce yeah. was like showed up late and was surprised, this will be cool. Because he wasn't nope, it's the other way around. This. Oh, really? Vigilance is, if you're, vigilance is if you don't know it's coming, and cool is if you know it's coming. Okay, well, rolling two um, yellows instead of three. I do oh, fuck me. Is that everything? Yeah. Never see it coming. Wow. Did I manage to win out? Yes. Shit. Well, you guys are going to have fun with that. What is up with odd numbers like this? I am just all about this tonight. On the I pink I screw and then this. <laughs> all right. So, uh, the assassin goes first. They center the dot of the site, which Arma can somehow perceive from behind them on the senator's chest. They are wielding a very expensive, very heavy duty, very scary Verpine shatter rifle. <gasps> Fuck. They level it right at the cent at the center of the senator's torso, and they're going to pull the trigger. Um, so, Webu, you said you were going to jump in for the senator before yes. roll initiative. So, yes. I would. Uh, I'm going to roll to hit him, and then you're going to need to roll uh, probably now? coordination. Yeah. To. Uh, mm, well, if I succeed, it'll be to take the hit for the senator. Yeah. Uh, if I fail, it might just be to tell the senator, get down, Mr. Senator! Yeah. So, let's see. What are we rolling for this? You, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. This will be fun. Yeah. Uh, he would, would this be is when the fun range, begins. But reduce it by one, because it's scoped. Oh. Verpine Shadow Rifles are not inherently accurate. They're just knocked down in Pierce 4. Okay. Heavy duty. Uh, we should. I will give him the benefit of the doubt that he's been aiming the entire time, or she. You don't know. That's actually a shadowed figure. It's dark up here. They. Well, she, okay. She, whatever. They're from behind. Arama can't see them clearly. Yeah, yeah. We're, we'll wrap up after the assassination thing. Off. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, and you gotta, you. you gotta bounce out. <laughs> Add anything else to this? No. Okay. Phew. All right, Webu, you are going to need to roll me a hard coordination check. You do not want to fail. Otherwise, the senator is going to eat that. He's going to eat see. shit. That would Spend be 17 damage, pierce four. Yeah, I don't even know how much Probably how much of damage much the senator is even. Uh, well, that would mean that, unfortunately, your medic would have to hoof it across the fucking ballroom because that would almost assuredly yeah. exceed his wound threshold. What we need to do okay. is the uh, uh Garen does double that joke check from D and D. The peasant rail cannon, but turn yeah. that into me. Just pass me along. Just crowd surf your way to the senator. <laughs> yeah. I'm a doctor. Her, yeah, hard carnation, so I have okay. Three per four foresight, that, 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 that I have every <laughs> We're good. So I'll use the two light pips to erase the threat. Okay, so you dive in front of the senator. You will take the hit for him. It is... Uh, 17. It's in my notes. No, no, it's not the 17. It's uh, nice. If you take the bullet for him, it just inflicts the base damage, but is pierce four. Okay. Um, so uh, you take 12 pierce four. Okay, 12 it's not pierce lined four. Up on you. I do yeah, not so. have any armor on, so that's just 12 straight up. All right. Uh, as just you get a you you body check the senator, people are like, oh, as a uh, hypersonic dart of of some ferromagnetic metal, you know, pops through your shoulder, flies out the other side into the into the the curtain of the the stage, and uh, continues to 
<laughs> fly somewhere into the night because the, uh, the assassin is not paying attention to their backstop. <laughs> oh, yeah, Webu. That gun is so yours. Webu. We get it. That, that gun is yours now. Senator. Senator. Get down, Mr. Senator. Down. Get out. Get down. Oh. Get down. What? What's going on? What's, what's happening? What's going on here? As as he realizes he's covered in Webu's blood. Oh my gosh, there's blood. Uh, you know, click, 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 click. you know, uh, Senate commanders are like, we've got to go, Mr. Senator. They like tuck two arms under his shoulder and they're going to hold, 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 hold. Mm. Everybody stay down. Get cover. Get the Senator out. Get the Senator out. <laughs> so uh, the Senator's <laughs> life is saved. Webu's shoulder blade is probably not okay, but you know, a little bit of Bacter fixes everything. Uh, it is now yeah. PC slots. <laughs> Aubrey, you go first. I'll take second. Here I go. Oh, you think I'm gonna let the BS? Well, who knows? It might. It, it, it doesn't. I'm gonna let the be a second PC. Webu is just gonna be like, mm, check this well, guy. I say, so they're at medium. So I will just make a double group because I'm gonna just. I guess I already got the shot off, so no point. Yeah. I might as well just fucking, um, oh ho, approach them. But I All will. Right. You run like a badass across the tops of the chairs, because mm -hmm. the mezzanine is uh, basically theater style seating. Yes. So you just fuck stairs. I will not run atop the stairs, and I will deliver all my love, all my hate, and all of my anger into one solid punch. I will pop. Knowledge is strength. Because... Ever good rock. Yeah. So, let's see here. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, G, and then PP. The target has one melee defense, an adversary one. So, that'd be Ruppy. Yep. Then a Suh. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey. I will be doing non lethal, by the way. Yep, okay. That is important. Mm hmm. And I do believe that is it. So. Nice. Hmm. So I will now additional spend. Two strain for martial grace. All right. Now increase my base damage by five. So that is four, nine. I got a triumph in there, so I don't need to go super fancy. So I'll dump all that success, all that light pip into success for a total of eight success, which all is right. an extra. Uh, I forget. Is, is it the? Is it the? I always forget this. Is it the everything that counts after one, or is it? Does the first success count as extra damage as well? I always forget that. First success counts. It's okay. your base damage plus every uncancelled success. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it would be an additional eight. So so four, nine, eight, seventeen, pierce ten. Yeah, for each one pretty much. Yes. Yeah. So you uh bring down your fist in a in a in a powerful punch. Um, and just uh, at the last second, before you connect with the back of the skull, they kind of roll into it, and you just drive your fist into the, this person's shoulder. They kind of uh, let out kind of a pained uh, gasp as you punch a pressure point, mm -hmm. and they kind of roll away from you. But they are not down from just your actual strike. Well, luckily, I can crit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting out of this easy, boy. Mm -hmm. So... Um... Behold, I have a second fist. <laughs> and I will quit. And I will Or paired. Yes. I will spend my once per round improve precision strike. All right. That's so, enough. triumph to crit and then call pre improve precision strike? Yes. All right. On overpowered? Yes. All right. Which means I will do This makes absolute sense they are completely overpowered. <laughs> Because as they spin around, you realize, gasp, Fabby, nor pink. Oh, you would say boy. something about he would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling Jedi. But uh, he's too busy wondering if his if all of his bones are in the right place. I was I was thinking his valves also full. Of, I'm pretty full sure he's done. Right I'm pretty now. sure he's fucking done. Yeah, he had three strain left in his yeah. strain threshold, buddy. You took him to seventeen out of twenty because he was a nemesis. Um, yeah, like. 
what, are you just going to go for, like, the solar plexus, you know, stun jab, or, like, you know, tap him on the noggin and he takes a nap here? What are you going for? I don't know. I'll come, like, I went over. I Since, since I started with the over, I'll go with the under. I'll just get him right in the gut. All right, yeah, you just drive right up into the guts, right up into his solar plexus, and he just kind of, you know, eyes bug out and then roll up and just, wait, didn't I literally say this guy's a fucking spy or something, like, when we fucking started? I said it out yes. of character, but I'm pretty sure I did. Well, I mean, awful. here, I'll throw you I'll throw you a stat block, and you'll, I, I think you had the vibes, because this is, this is the guy you met. Yeah, because he was, like, here's the thing, when someone's so nondescript, that stands out to me. Oh yeah, non literally yeah. indistinguishable too. <laughs> wow, possible deniability too. What's that do? Uh, remove non setback die from certain checks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> indistinguishable wow. upgrades checks to remember or identify, and then nobody's fool upgrades social checks adversaries for combat. So like, hypothetically, if Arma had like run right up here at first and not gone through like the extensive searching process. You might have caught it before he set up, and then he would have been like, oh, I'm just here to double-check security. What's this? Ian Lumboy in a closet! Uh, by the way, Ian Lumboy is in a closet. <laughs> oh, did he find it? Because, oh, of course. Oh, did he find he's, it? Uh, he's been, he has been uh, stunned and possibly drugged. Oh, uh, he's the scapegoat. Yeah. Uh, you, find him in, you find him in the room with the hardened case that the uh, Verpine Shatter Rifle was smuggled into. Uh, by the way, the Verpine Shadow Ruggle is freakishly expensive. It's, yes. it's yeah. bullshit. It's bullshit. You're pretty sure this guy embezzled something to buy this. Yeah. It's why I think if we te if we keep it, we should have it. Because you've been shot by it. Or you should possibly it was... sell yeah, it because holy shit. True. It's a heavy range. Heavy range heavy. It's a big boy gun. It's a big boy Actually, gun. Actually, yeah, how, how much is this? Let's see. Oh, uh, no. I believe it's 12k base. Yeah, it's 12k. Oh, so that's at least like 20k. This is, this is an artisanal uh you know uh high velocity railgun like oh no it's 30k oh it's 30k 12k must be the uh, must be the the pistol uh the, the pistol is 15k, 15K. Yeah, it's, i knew it was is in the it, is it a base yeah. or is it a heavy <laughs> wait the, the heavy no no it's the basic one it's not the heavy okay. one wait, yeah, the i just imagine i like... would not voluntarily introduce a verpine heavy shadow rifle into this game that and got my rough. old players know why yeah we did yeah to give that to 24 <laughs> damage straight up on my guy that was uh <laughs> that was dr murderbot's weapon of choice after a while and uh oh boy that was a, I, that was I, a could, I could kill a minor vehicle with that yeah so i'm just um, imagining no, the, now the verpine we... heavy shadow rifle is the gucci handbags of uh <laughs> sniper rifles I, don't I think it. all the fur pine rifles are they get damaged if you drop them. Yeah, they're very they're very delicate. Um, yeah. This one is not damaged because he did not drop it. Um, so uh, RMI, I assume after realizing you've just you know punched the lights out of Fabi Norpink, um, that hit my microphone there. Um, you you know rifle his pockets. You realize, wait a minute, this guy's got armored inserts in his clothes. What the fuck? That was my thing. <laughs> Uh, he's carrying a stealth vibro knife. It's a vibro knife with a very quiet generator. It is poisoned, dipped oh, in anesthetic. Oh Jesus! He's also carrying dose of neuroparalytic binders, secure data pad with a copy of the sender's schedule. You find, uh, uh, you know, like I said, Ian Lumboy is is you know, uh, drugged unconscious or or stunned in a oh, back closet. Longer. And uh, the sen the senator has has been evac'd. He will not be returning. They throw him in the limo and they take him to the space. Uh, well, he said least, the important bit of his speech. At least he's alive. And yeah, he fine. lived. Uh, good job. Yeah. Uh, if if a senator got murdered on stage, I think the party would be over. Um, yes. As it is now, uh, some guy uh, some guys are probably like, "Oh my gosh, lady What's lady Jedi Webb, who are you dead on stage?" And then uh, I'm gonna hope that Boots is like, "Nope." Excuse Fine. me, pardon me. Nobody's dead here. Clear. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Move along. Uh, so I assume you pro you probably want to bundle off Webu to like the the green room and you know look at her shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you go into the back the backstage, you see the tiny the tiny scorched hole of the shadow rifle. You know, pass through the back curtain, pass through the back wall, pass through the wall of the green room. <laughs> 
pass into the, the fucking drywall and plywood behind something. Suddenly you realize that Armand's bill for the deadbolt probably isn't going to be as problematic as this. <laughs> you were reasonably paper. certain that the bolt continues through the floor somewhere, through the, through the layers of permacrete, into the undercity, and then has probably gotten lost somewhere in the thick delta mud. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to find it a few years from now. Does the, like, this is an extreme range, hyper velocity, Pierce 4 gun that still has knockdown. Yeah. This thing has some fucking energy. Yes. <laughs> Daniel has to, like, fucking hard clock a gun to do something even like that. And this thing just does it naturally. Oh, yeah, though. Like I said, it's fucking expensive. It's a, it's a big boy. If you wanted to keep it, you probably could. It would be very effective. Though, like like we said, it's it's a delicate and heavy-duty weapon, so you may want to be careful about, like, nah, Kevin, hiking through the a, jungle with it. Kevin needs something that, like, can survive being beat up. Yeah, you need you need flexible. That's probably why it's better. But, you know, anyway, it's very shiny will, and expensive. Um, hustle everyone, everyone, um, the, every, all the unconscious people down, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, security, you know, runs up right behind you. They figured out where the shot came from, you know. Uh, they're like, Jedi Arba, what are you doing with the unconscious? Uh, uh, the unconscious form of Femi Dorpik. <laughs> um, where did you get that huge gun? Insert exposition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're wrapping up. Um, Hand over, I guess, uh, uh, one boy to... I can't remember yeah. his name right now. Yeah, but... I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure the fucking assassin probably found him and did this whole plan to make it look like it was him. So, we don't. Even, I don't need. I don't need this kid awake. I've. I know. I know this. I know this. <laughs> this kid is just. Have, have you uh... tried this kind of thing before? Lucky in a game. No. Well. No. Actually, no. No. no, no. no, no. Well, uh, but... Also, no. Not. Not kid. I'm imagining like greasy. Uh, late 30s, 30s basement oh. dweller. Oh, 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 yeah. But still, this slob. But no, like, well, it's just what you do. Like, that's what assassin does. You make the shot. You make sure you like. That's the thing. He like the reason Your why he's wearing gloves. By the way. Yeah. By the way. Um. The reason why I was like he's a spy is because that was a thing in the fucking um one of the modules he did is one of the fucking spy was the literally the most indescript fucking person pop um indescript person there, and it turns out he was behind everything. So I was all like, it's this guy. But then I was like, oh, whatever. But then he like he vanishes and we're about to do a speech. I'm all like, no. Yeah, I had to I had to rig that one a little carefully because I was like, I mean, ideally an assassin would just fucking vanish and you'd have no idea. But that's literally no fun. So I, I decided to give little hints and then you just decided to go up to the mezzanine for the show. And I'm like, ooh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, it's locked. Weird, huh? And you're like, mm. I happy when I called it. So he probably locked himself in there. Oh yeah, no. Um, I, I, you guys didn't ask, but I was gonna bring it up if any, if it came back up. Um, because remember, the senator told him to go back and get his notes, and he handed him his security pass. I explicitly did not mention he handed the security pass back when I said he handed him the data. And if, and like I said, when it came up, I was like, yeah, no, you remember he didn't hand back the security pass. So. Yeah, he just pocketed the security credentials because he's the assistant, and I'm sure you're going to have a lovely conversation with him later mm -hmm. about the Separatist flipped him. Yeah. Anyway, I, mean, uh, I think we'll adjourn yeah. here because Law yes. has to go Yeah. soon. we got to scoot off, and I have to yeah. go launch Wanted and uh, prepare for my wallet to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. So, uh, I got to yeah, scoot on stuff. over, and uh, I'm being We'll probably insulted. go ahead and roll for, we can start to roll for Webu to get Healy bopped. Uh, because no one can hear me, apparently. I can hear you. Yeah, we're just trying to close up, Law. Um, well, we can probably get healed next time because we move into the uh, uh, quite long period. You guys have uh, time blocked out for dinner and then dancing, and then the dessert bar after before Aramagi. So, as a thing, I've kind of this no, is no thoughts, only finishing. Uh, all right, you can okay. type them. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, what I was going to say was that uh, you guys should be thinking about the premier dinner conversation is going to be who's going to be the junior representative of Soha Live. Oh, interesting. The senator brought that up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Aramov finds out about this as she comes back from punching an assassin. Oh, yeah, the senator said he was going to open up elections for a special representative. We're going to get a democratically elected guy to represent us to the senator. Not necessarily in the Senate, you know, because he doesn't have voting power, but, you know, represent the population because we're growing and stuff. All right. Okay, so uh, you guys dealt with a couple of good vignettes. Got all your thing in there. So just as, um, a, as this is a dumb thing, but no. technically I was ordered to 
Let's just go mingle. Well, I, let, me, let me actually calculate the base yes. XP first before we do motivation. Hold on, I'm doing I, mental math. No words. No more words. You cannot talk. You're forbidden. Everybody shush for a sec. I got to do mental math. So you guys caught the assassin. That's a fiver. And you guys dealt with a couple of uh, the vignettes. So we'll call that 15. Yeah, 15. Anybody hit motivations? I think I did honor and battle. Yes. I think I did. People are counting on me. Well, I did not. And at this point, goodbye. Later, Loth. All right. Bye, Loth. Have fun. Don't die for vaccines. That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a possibility. Uh, okay. okay. And... X, uh, do you think your motivation? You can type it if you don't want to speak, but we're, you know... No, I just was more lucky to be like, no, you broke what I said, but... <laughs> It's fine. Okay. Anyway, yeah. But, you, but yeah, it's like I, I tentatively went with. I was considering it for I think we were doing the whole like over. You don't I have to over explain, Axe. Yes. Do you think you did the mission? I. For my side. Uh, yes. Okay. I like to think I did, but okay. in a kind of a weird way. I think I, I'm thinking what you're. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking picking up what you're putting down. You were talking about when Wevu ordered you to come with her. Or when our mother's like, go, go dance and talk to people. <laughs> That's not the mission. That's just me trying to make you not be a fucking... Um... No, I think the thing where, like, you were doing that thing, and then well, it was like, follow me, and you were like, okay, bye. Okay. I'm going to go deal with this bullshit now. Mm. That was I'm going to go, go buy a plane charm. Okay, so that's EXP. Uh, have I had you guys been rolling conflict, or are we sitting on it still? I think we're still sitting on it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so... We'll wait. We'll have, a, yeah. we'll have a lot of fun in the night. Yeah. Because this is only the second phase. I have had fun. Uh, that was, uh, so that was, uh, you guys passed uh, phase one opening moves and, and crisis one diehard dancing last time. You've passed now uh, phase two happy hour and crisis two. Good job, Mr. Senator! <laughs> What's called in my we, notes. We've done, a lot, we, we've done a lot of shit tonight. Busy night, yeah. And then uh, phase three is dinner and a show. Maybe dinner, maybe this which I have spent well, way too long researching. It, but maybe this time this might be the actual the calm part, but probably not. Well, you definitely have, as far as you guys know, the next big anchor point is Arama has to do a speech. Yeah, and Arama like doesn't have to do a speech. Bomb was, I don't forth, think there's uh, anything else I can do. So, um, yeah, but you do have to like work through dinner and some actual dancing and some more stuff and this representative issue has come up so you'll probably want to debate that amongst yourselves but i think that is a good point to call it off here and skedaddle on out of here still mm -hmm. a three-hour session we have to go as usual debate uh what to call the episode oh if boy. there's a if there's a relevant song about assassination is there a song just called get down have we done ballroom blitz i feel like we yes have.